Dude, I that ain't gonna last one of the mo- biggest pet peeves I have when I can't find shit on people. Oh, mm. yeah. I'm like, what am I gonna ask you how the fucking weather was? <laughs> <laughs> mm, damn, Q. Baby, you did that. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy Shy. Shy versus everybody podcast. Voice of Detroit. Motherfucking podcast MVP in this motherfucker, man. The champ is here! I want to say anything said today we are under the influence <laughs> definitely soon to be so please do not take what i say seriously if you do then i don't give a fuck <laughs> yeah your opinion matters no exactly, exactly. Uh, only the internet <laughs> man but uh we episode 205 man we got special guests in the building these two guys are a duo man you know what i'm saying they got one of the greatest podcasts in the state of michigan State of uh, the city of Flat Rock. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it originated in Detroit. Yeah, well, we, we'll we, were, Detroit. we were born in Southwest Detroit. Go okay, you were podcast was, not me. But we got Brian over here, man, to the left of me, man. He a drummer, <laughs> engineer, producer, host, director, you know what I'm saying? Oh, a whole bunch host? of other stuff, but I, I can't really do it. I'm a host. Hold up. All right, good for you. I'm proud for your show. Oh, right, right, right. I was going to say, you are a host, aren't you? Oh, Oh, shit. We got Mario over here, man. Retired soccer player. You know what I'm saying? I'm not retired yet. yet. (laughs) Engineer, host, digital creator, man. We got Mario over here. Together, they made the legal the legal aliens. Hell yeah. What's up, man? How y'all feel? We are a little bit under the influence slowly. Maybe you were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, with me. I always keep my word, man. A lot of these shows, you know, you come on their show, they have a podcast. I was on their show. We ate hot wings and was motherfucking dying. And I told them, like, yeah, I'm going to have y'all on my podcast. And a lot of people say that, and they lie. I wonder who you're talking about. <laughs> you know, nah, hey, nah, hey, nah, nah, we, we, we I can name, name a lot of people, more than the, more than the one person. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I wanted to have them on the show. I thought they were some cool dudes, man. So we had to make it happen. And That's right. Episode 205, we're right here. About to make this bitch a banger, boy. How y'all yeah, feel? Or lose my job one or the other. <laughs> you only did once, so. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Might as well yeah, come I did almost lose my okay. job once. <laughs> <laughs> no, but do y'all, like, recording... You know what I'm saying? Because I supposed to have uh, two people I supposed to do the podcast with. Mm-hmm. One dude didn't want to do it because he said he didn't want to get in trouble with his job. Ah! Mm. Are y'all worried about the things that y'all say that might get back to work? Uh, nobody at work knows about this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. Yeah, well, funny enough, it's like what we've had a previous uh, well, uh, a cast member that essentially lost their job yeah. because of the podcast. Yeah. Like, so it's like, and I almost <laughs> lost my job too. So if, if you do this type of work on yeah. the internet, you got to be willing to accept those consequences. For sure. I, at least I feel like that's my personal now, opinion. Prior to the show, we, uh, Brian asked me how we had to have stop the podcast because, yeah. you know, saying right now somebody's knocking on the door. <laughs> is, is it really? Yeah, that is <laughs> five minutes <laughs> episode. Hey, yo, come in. <laughs> <laughs> so we got cut grass, man. Probably coming down the stairs. Yeah, uh, possibly. <laughs> oh no, that's that's my dad. It's a, mm. it's a bum asking for money, though. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, I'm lying less. Yes, that's a no, That's a little man. Uh, oh yeah, so we we bet. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we was talk, we was talking about the whole uh, being you know nervous about your job and doing the podcast, talking crazy shit. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, um, like I was saying, um, if, if you're online and any type, shape, or form as a personality or creator, mm-hmm. you should be willing. To flat on whatever sort or whatever you say, especially if you want to be real on the internet, mm-hmm. because uh, at least again from personal experience, one one particular instance is um, I almost lost my job. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because of a clip that went viral. For sure. But I was willing to eat that. You know yeah, what I mean? yeah, yeah. Because it's like you can't have all the reward with no risk. Uh-huh. That, uh, and, what was the What was the clip, man? Like if you want our, our most popular our most popular clip <laughs> yeah. on Instagram has uh, as of last time I checked has over ten million views. Oh wow! And um. It was uh, me reacting to Yoko the Clown. Yeah, uh, yeah, you guys yeah, know yeah. who that is? Okay. And, uh, yeah, so obviously he's very, <laughs> very, very R-rated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and I was kind of like Mario my job. And, you know, nobody at work knew that I had, you know, yeah. a podcast. And then... <laughs> That shit happening. Yeah, yeah. Now they definitely office. find out. <laughs> you got called in the office like, "Hey, we need to talk." So what do you what, like, when it, when it happened? What you say? Like, to, you know, keep your job and keep shit going. Well, I mean, uh, and and probably losing job is a little too like they, they didn't go like, "Hey, you got to stop doing that and mm-hmm. that shit." But it definitely was like, "Well, I worked as a, a, a representative of a, of a business." You know, I was essentially sure. in sales, yeah, which is one of the biggest decisions that made me go into being a behind the scenes worker, which uh, I'm an auto technician now. Mm-hmm. Um, so you know, I was. 
like, you know, probably it's probably best to not be a, a face of a company per se <laughs> yeah. if you're if you're fucking like, you know, on the internet. So No for sure, for and, sure. And, yeah, and yeah, I yeah. feel like that's a good advice for like people like this, like shit that might be doing OnlyFans and shit like that. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> maybe not be like the you know yeah. the, the head of the board of department of education or, 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 like, or a teacher or a teacher yeah, you might like, need to yeah. balance it yeah yeah exactly yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. you yeah. can't be a t- yeah well we had a teacher on here who got fired for being a, a rapper if y'all don't know if y'all heard oh, oh y'all had that, that one yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, I remember that yeah. dripping honey yeah yep, yeah, yep. yeah. Uh, so they found out she was rapping and they fired her and so, so she had a whole case and stuff so I, I guess it's still going on right now I will now. fucking sue the shit out of Jeez. my job bro. yeah but it's like they said she just won teacher of the month you know what I'm saying prior to the whole firing and everything like that the kids loved her it's like alright you rapping get the fuck out of here yeah damn you know that's what I'm saying? crazy so, bro <laughs> child to dripping honey and shit dog what yeah, kind of, with that name though like you a teacher like Miss Johnson ain't dripping honey yeah. <laughs> oh damn I just thought about that <laughs> hey, Miss Honey, hey, Miss Drip, Miss Drip, Miss Drip, what you dripping, dog? Yeah, <laughs> dripping, got that honey, man. Jeez. But uh, we usually start every episode with a salute. You know, say a lot of times we wait for people to pass away. Oh shit! Yeah, <laughs> 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 they saluted. <laughs> <laughs> I know you that was just fucking me. <laughs> that was hilarious though. But no, we we you know a lot of times we wait for people to pass away before we give them their flowers instead of showing them love while they're still here. Mm-hmm. But it can't be an easy answer. If you got a lady, parents, siblings, it gotta be somebody out there easy answer. So really think about it and give them some flowers. Shit, my dog right here, bro. Oh, hell yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, well, I feel like a lot of people that, like, ride with you get overlooked a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, you can have, like, a good connection with friends and shit like that. But mm-hmm. people that physically, you know, are riding with you yeah. and at the worst mm-hmm. and at the best, For sure. they, they deserve flowers. Hell yeah. Hell and not yeah. just, you know, like you said, your parents, your other, and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, just those, those those friends, you know. Yeah. What about you, Mario? Man, you going to... Uh, I would say... <coughs> I would go... Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, would, I would actually give it to my co-workers honestly because I was in a rough spot a few months ago where I became unemployed you know I had a relationship end and whatnot so trying to get into a new gig and something yeah. totally different from what I was used to and just having the them having the patience to help me out and yeah. deal with my bullshit just sure. and trying to figure things out was very instrumental in helping me out and I'm like damn now I'm good at what I do and I yeah. appreciate every single one of them that dealt with all my questions every day so did your relationship end because of unemployment uh, I, was in, I would say it's part of a reason <laughs> I would say it's part of a reason. Speaking yeah. of people to stick with you, ride it down. Yeah. I got some fucking beef yeah. with that motherfucker. Man. Uh, yeah, you do. Man, oh, it yeah. starts with the... No. Yeah. You, got, well, you got beef with his past relationship? Bro? Yeah. yeah. That bitch talking about like you're a walking red flag. He's one of the nicest persons I know in the world. Bro. <clears throat> he gets his shit done. He owns yeah. a house. Yeah. He had a job. Yeah, for sure. You don't call him a red flag? Yeah, He's that's bullshit. My, my... <laughs> <laughs> like, so, like, did that really fuck you up? Like, her leaving you and, and you unemployed? Like, did that put you, like, in a... Oh, it did. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, like, yeah, I didn't. I would never show it on the on on our podcast. But yeah, I, I this year I probably cried the I cried the most out of the, the most most that I've ever have. Hell it yeah. really is. It was really hard. No, I'm glad somebody finally admit to it because everybody want to be thug. Like, you know, fuck uh, each I don't need her. No, no, yeah. nah, bro. Don't act like you weren't crying 20 minutes ago, dog. Yeah. Oh, trust <laughs> me. I, I walked into episodes and I cried before. Yeah, yeah. I almost literally cried in a couple of episodes. You did. <laughs> I was like, man, I'm just talking about life, bro. What you what you what you? What you <laughs> how, how did you eventually get over that? Because I'm quite sure we all have heartbreaks man like i mm. remember like just sitting in the same spot on the couch mm-hmm. for like a month <laughs> like just, yeah. you remember you said you tried crying for <laughs> yeah yeah that's what work yeah i ain't i ain't fake crying to keep a girl from leaving and then you really fuck a jackass and she actually still leave like damn mm-hmm. this shit didn't work shit it worked yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so how you get over it though man like just how you get over a bad relationship uh, yeah. continue just fi- find the things that you enjoy to do you know mm-hmm. it's, 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 it, you might think sometimes it's easy to get that you know the mindset and change it up a bit yeah. it's, other times it's not but thankfully for the things that I love to do in life and mm-hmm. the people that I love having around me it's yeah. easy to just kind of push that aside and even though there's been times where she would kind of find her way back yeah, in, in yeah, a sense they're just kind of like do. okay this yeah. is weird but yeah, she be doing some weird. Shit, bro. but no it's I don't it, like you <laughs> <laughs> I all I can say is I hope she's doing well. That's for all sure, I can, I can sure. all I do that. She's having the worst. <laughs> day of her life. Yeah. But everything's good now. Like you know, jobs be great. I now have a, a lovely girlfriend again. For sure, yeah, yeah, no, she's a real one. She's yeah. no, she's she's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Hell. I like that other one. Shout out to real ones. What about you, Brian? Man, uh, heartbreak, man. You ever had a heartbreak? How you give it that shit? Shit, I ain't gonna lie, bro. The only heartbreak they really heard was the first one when I was like, you know, in my early twenties. Yeah. After that, I just cry for twenty minutes and go fuck on. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, bro. Something happened after that first one where you know it was days and shit, yeah. if not almost weeks, yeah. where you know you're fucked up. You know that shit really hit. Mm-hmm. And then after the fact, every heartbreak after that is just like, 
All yeah. right, be sad about it for 20 minutes, but this shit ain't going to change. You know, shit no, ain't going to come back. You know, your life's like, you, you can drop that today and the yeah. world's going to keep spinning. Do it hurt that if your mate leave you and you see the dude she with and he's like, damn, he's way better. I, 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 I ain't going to lie. <laughs> like so moved, far, I haven't seen that. Like I ain't going to lie. Of all the people that I've been with, I, I've, I don't care enough to go back and check up on their yeah. life. And, and, you know, and I, and I, I wish them well. I don't I don't like this uh, animosity that yeah, people have sure. and shit about like, oh, fuck my ex. I'm just, you know, kind of plain talking about no, not really. You mean it. Well, <laughs> I mean you can do it for, you're doing it for mine. So. Right, right. But, but like, at the end of the day, it's like, I know I'm only me, bro. Ain't yeah. nobody better than me out this <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I ain't gonna lie. See, I'm different. Shit, you gotta have a little self-confidence. You, you know? move on and you see somebody and you're like, damn, this motherfucker got this, got that. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I was, holding, I was holding you back. Like, right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was stopping you from meeting you your other half. Holy yeah. shit. <laughs> <laughs> shit, I didn't know I was the problem. Holy fuck. <laughs> like, I was stopping your shine, your growth, everything. Yeah, yeah, you know, pause. Yeah, you, ever, you ever heard that? <laughs> you ever heard that? Like, don't let your wife find the girlfriend you over decided to have. Man, like, yeah, 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 wow. yes, man, yes, man. But then I feel like I'm, a, you know, when I see my my person, they ex. I'm like, oh shit, you moved up. When you got with me, you moved up. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. know what you were thinking before me. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> but you can take that as like motivation, you know? Like, for well, sure. all right, fuck, you know, I gotta show her for real. Exactly, you know, like, exactly, so. exactly, man. Now I just mentioned something earlier, man. You know, you guys are a lot younger than me. Not a lot, but you younger. Nah, than just me. a little bit. Yeah, yeah. man, give yourself a little. I'm, I'm, I'm clinging on to my twenties. Yeah, your, it's your life now. I know, I know. How do y'all feel about like that last year, your twenties? Like, do you feel like any regret? Any like, damn, I ain't do this by this age? Like, any of that going on? right now shit the uh, the only regret if you even call it a regret is the shit that i know now i wish i would have known it like in my early 20s mm-hmm. yeah. now, i don't really yeah. go on the, the the 20s ending part yeah because i mean i feel good you know and at the end of the day <clears throat> age is just a number for sure <laughs> now uh, every day <laughs> depends no, on hey, how you, no, depends no on how you no say it no diddy dog <laughs> yeah. in the topic yeah no diddy <laughs> depending on, i'm talking about legal aging up you know what i mean <laughs> Be careful, be careful. Yeah, yeah, careful the line I'm walking, shit. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, at, at the end of the day, uh, the, uh, that's the only even regret that I might have is I wish I knew what I knew yeah. earlier on. And, shit, especially if, if you're thinking long term, I'm just getting started. Especially, yeah. you know, with our project, with my For personal sure. career and shit. Shit, we, we only going up, bro. And don't, don't feel like you're, you know, oh, no, like no, I'm too good. old. You're like, you're yeah, shit, yeah. You, yeah. you're going to get far with this, bro. Man, just got to keep going at it. This nigga got my chest sweaty. <laughs> 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 I'm over here like, God damn it. I'm, are y'all hot? I was in. I was no, before we got here. Yeah, I was, like, I was in this car. I was just like, oh god. No. It might be the Mexican blood. In yeah, got that chest on sweat mode. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Mario? Man, how you feel like you know, saying leaving these twenties, going to your thirties? Uh, I can physically feel it. Mm. Uh, my hips killing me. <laughs> uh, I take reasons. that one too. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> no. It's, oh, it, fuck. I'm a, I'm a, <laughs> thank you for catching that. Anyway, uh, no. Same with Brian. Like you don't. I don't want to like look back and be like, mm, what did I make? Make like a regrettable mistake or something like that. It's like, yeah, yeah you can learn from it of course and then apply it to okay let, let's not do that again or how do right, I do right, it better right. and things like that uh, yeah sometimes I'm thinking like okay maybe where I'm at career wise isn't where I aspired to be but at the same time it's like I'm damn good at what I do now I feel yeah, like yeah. and it's like I'm wanting to improve and maybe move up in the company or something or find something else and, you yeah, know, yeah. Yeah, I take that I take that you know personally for me it's like i feel appreciated that it's like i have something there yeah and i can is, be good at it is there any activity that you guys are doing right now to be like what the fuck i am an old motherfucker yeah. <laughs> and you enjoying it too like shit <laughs> Uh, like yesterday when I was at the bonfire we were playing like these old ass games and shit I was just like I'm getting old like I'm, yeah. I'm enjoying myself right now doing absolutely nothing yeah. having a little drink next to the fire we was telling stories like finished the story off and we was like yeah Marcus and this that we was doing shit like that and I was actually having a good time and the young me would have been like what kind of bullshit are you on right now <laughs> But me now, I'm enjoying Dude, just doing absolutely you know, nothing. When, when I was in my early 20s, or you know, after you, after you get out of high school and shit, you you want to have that that phase of like fuck, you know, like everybody out there partying and shit. By me, you want to be out and do everything out by me, and it's like. Now that I'm old, I'm like, yeah, fuck that shit, dude. I want to be home. Like, if I have a day that I have a clear afternoon, I sit in that couch and put some fucking YouTube, bro. Yeah. That's what I... And then, yeah. you know, old, old me would have... I mean, young me would have been like, you lame motherfucker. Hell yeah, for sure. But now it's like, nah, bro. I'm paying for this fucking rent, bitch. I'm, ta- I'm making my rent. <laughs> like, I'm going to be in this bitch. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, what do you mean? I totally think it's the opposite for me because now I'm like, I feel like I'm doing this more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's just like... Well, I mean, it, it, it comes to like the t- with, you know, being with uh, a girlfriend who likes, you know... 
going out and having a good, you know, a good time. Really? You know, my li- fucked up. No, yeah. no, well, not quite that. My, I mean, my, my last ex didn't do this at all, so we didn't have anything like that. Yeah. But like, I think even now, as I'm getting older, I'm still finding myself doing things that I liked as a kid, even like you know, as a teen or whatever. I'm like, I'll sit like him. I'll sit at home and fucking build a Lego. I don't care. Yeah, like, I don't no. care if I'm almost thirty. I love this. Yeah, 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 for this sure. is like yeah, a thing Legos, I should be doing Legos, on fifteen. Legos are the shit, though. I, will. I am sad that I'm not as good on a video game as I used to be, though. I right. still try to keep I feel up. that, though. I feel that. You know, <laughs> shit, that's another part of staying at home. You know, I've been yeah. playing the fucking Call of Duty zombies, bro. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm playing, We're playing that. I'm playing the college football game that came yeah, out. I'm me loving too, that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm man. beating it, but yeah, I'm oh, playing that. Like, yeah. Though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, man. But, now, uh, you know, speaking of getting older and stuff like that, you know, saying it's 2024, shit, almost over with. This year flying. Yeah, this shit over. What are some shit that you guys want to accomplish this year, personally and with the podcast, and what are some things that you still, uh, uh, you know, striving for? Make more money. <laughs> oh, yeah, Make always. any money. Yeah. What do you mean? Like, what the yeah, yeah. Make some more money. Yeah, Make yeah. more money like we're making money. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. Did, we did it at one point. Nah, podcast, and we're not going to talk about that, though. <laughs> <laughs> not anymore. Yeah, it's over. Yeah. Yeah. You know, there is uh, perks of beauty of going viral. Yeah. That's all yes. I'm going to say. For sure. For sure. Um, but, yeah, no. Um, definitely. I mean, just just grow the... Because the, it, it's... I don't know if it's ever happening to you guys mm-hmm. in, in general, but... Or any podcast that's listening, where you start off a project, mm-hmm. you get people... On, we weren't a gay, uh, a, a gay. I was saying, I was saying gay. We're not a. What's, what's this week? We're not a. We're not a gas based podcast for the most part, right? <laughs> but, I'm like, hold on, what is going on? <laughs> this is, and this is happening in my house. What is happening yeah. here? What's going on? Hey, you should be there when you're not there, though. Uh, <laughs> all right, so you say it's not a guest based podcast. So it wasn't for the longest, right? But one of the things we realized is like, you know, we really actually like to have conversations, not just amongst us, but I want to know what other people mm-hmm. want to say and shit, you know? Mm-hmm. So we started inviting more people recently, and we, we almost saw like a flip of a switch from going to, you know, having a knit circle yeah, you know, of, of sure. people to, build to now building a, a bigger. Or, you know, I guess you can say brand or mm. just culture of like help. Hey, you know, I help you, you help me, exactly. and it's like a mutual transaction type of deal. You know, exactly. Uh, exactly. And 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 it'd be surprising because when you have that attitude, you have people that like have nothing to gain from being on your show. Mm-hmm. And it's like, well, damn, you know, so I got to be doing something, right? Exactly. No, so sure. just, we want, we just want to keep that going. Hell yeah. And, you know, shit, you know, uh, we, we like to put small, like, little uh, goal posts so we mm. can cross them. Exactly. The first one I did uh, before we even went viral was like, you know, I want to post a video to get a million views. Yeah. And that's where it changed <clears> my mind to where, like, oh, fuck, like, maybe manifesting, like, <laughs> things is it a thing. Yeah. Because <clears> it's <throat> like, you know. I want to do this. Let's put some effort into doing it. Exactly. Uh, before this year started, or no, at the beginning of this year, I think I said I wanted to. Um, you had a oh, follower milestone. I had a that. follower milestone, which I think we passed already. Mm-hmm. And it's like, damn, all right. Like, you know, now yeah. on to the yeah, next one. Yeah. So next year, we're going to put another one of like, you know, we'll cross, you know, 5,000 on IG or something. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. and then when we hit it, it's like, damn, enough. So now what? So yeah. keep moving that sure. And it's nothing like, like those small wins. Like, because I remember with this podcast, I actually started the Instagram page. I remember having zero followers. Like, <laughs> and oh, yeah, I remember that feeling real <laughs> yeah. well. Bro. Oh, yeah. It's like, like 500. Like, yes, a thousand. Hell yeah. yeah. It's like you building, you know what I'm saying, the right way. You're not paying for followers, which right. I hate when people do that. Oh, we know people that do yeah, that. Yeah, I know a lot of motherfuckers <laughs> that do that. Yeah. But it's like, it's like watching the growth, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn, like, I'm really doing something with this shit. Because, right. you know, at first I just had people from my personal page follow the podcast page. It's yeah. like, all right, bet. All right, oh, you motherfuckers ain't following it? Fuck you. <laughs> and, and, hey, hey, low, low key though, that's a very good point that I've, I've noticed is that people closest to you sometimes, and I don't know what it is, but one of the things I had to constantly tell myself is like, just because people that fuck with me in real life or yeah. or family members, they don't be showing no love. It's yeah. like I gotta stop caring about that. Exactly, you do because you're gonna only disappoint yourself. Hell yeah, you know, like if 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 you have people on the internet that are way going above and beyond to support your shit. Mm. Do the same thing to them. That doesn't mean you neglect people that exactly. are in your family, but you got to know that personal relationships and business is two different things. Yeah, yeah, you know? exactly, exactly. Because you start expecting too much, and then you, like you said, you're gonna get disappointed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because if you're expecting that, like the same things you're doing to people, and then they'll mm. do it in turn. I mean, now I'm, I'm quite sure y'all gonna get this because I get it. I hate when I have like, you know, what I'm saying, say I, got, you guys, you guys are, you know, what I'm saying some good, some great guys got good content. Mm. I'm having you on the show, but if I had somebody like a motherfucking, just a no a motherfucker. In, 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 in Detroit, like um, I swear, Vezo or right. Big Sean. Once you get that guess, everybody gonna be on your on your dick. Like, like oh my God, you're doing so much. Sure. Yeah. Well, that's <laughs> one thing. Yeah. You're the best. And it's one thing we look. Yeah, like, look at. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. We we have a. 
uh, uh, not a physical list, but we I have a mental checklist. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, motherfuckers yeah, that like really like. <laughs> like I told my wife, like I had one guest. I'm like, watch how many people show love on this on this picture. Everybody showing love. I'm like, watch why I get a uh, little Bobo. <laughs> right, <down the laughs> street, show, yeah. yeah, watch how much love he get. None. Cause like, oh, yeah, man, one like and it's like yeah, his mom and congrats, shit. <laughs> congrats, <laughs> man. You doing it big, like yeah, bro. Yeah. I've been doing it big. I've been doing this for a long right, time, right. man. Like, yeah. So it's all you gonna get those two, man. Those people that just congratulate you when they see you. Doing big things, but they not congratulating you for the little things, like you said. Right. So yeah, yeah fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> Just like I said. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What about you, Mario? Like, what were some things you wanted to come into the year with, as far as goal wise, personally, and with the podcast? I think it just being able to be consistent and just try to find. I mean, we know time is hard to find sometimes, you know, mm. with our lives. And sometimes you just want to have a day where it's like, well, like I'm just going to just, yeah, I'm just going to just not touch my computer and edit <laughs> yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. So it's, you have to find that balance and then try to find that mental capacity to be like, all right, let me yeah. go and grab some stuff and do what I need to do. Right, but yeah. uh, I, I look at like kind of like new, like short term, long term kind of things. Like, yeah, followers, engagement, uh, mm. type of personalities we can have on the show and mm. meet some new people maybe make some friends along the way type sure. of stuff and then yeah. find the kind of I guess relationships that can help us mm. kind of grow a little bit too like take it outside of my house yeah. essentially yeah. like I've always envisioned us to maybe do like shows outside like you know like live shows or kind of yeah, like yeah. Out on the ground live on scene somewhere yeah. you know, kind we of just thing. try to do a grand prix show this year yeah, yeah. And they sure. told us to go fuck her <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah we, I, I, I had to create some like I guess assi- what they call assignment letters like yeah, you gotta stating, get real like, professional with this shit. Yeah, we had to state Damn. like who we are, what like what we are, and then yeah. what we plan to do, and then we're like, I had to climb. Oh, y'all y'all <laughs> just go down there and just talk to people and just have conversations. Yeah. It was gonna be like that, do a show there, kind of like I don't know, like near I guess where they call the paddock area, where like all the cars are, the teams are at. And we we're mm. like, oh, if drivers happen to just kind of walk by, like, oh, hey, you know, we can yeah. maybe speak to them a little you have bit. Have time but, for a couple questions? Yeah, yeah. for sure, for yeah. sure. Yeah, just kind of like be in a spot that we both enjoy because we we're into cars and into racing and right. things like that. But like have a show, it's like oh, we can connect with new people. Possibly. Exactly. Exactly. It's like doing stuff like that. Hopefully, in yeah. the near future, we can do like I always thought, like oh, just rock up to Campus Marshes and do a show. And just kind of exactly. like, all right, yeah. see what happens. No, that's what we, me. I've been talking about doing that for a, a long time, man. I have so my. We can do one. We do a collaboration. Now. <laughs> hell yeah! I mean, <laughs> I'll pull up. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, just pull up. We'll pull the equipment. For hell yeah! Hell yeah! I'm down for sure, man. I'm not like the other podcast, man. <laughs> they be, be inviting you and they don't fucking no. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah. I'm not saying no names, but around now, I'm gonna go back and forth a lot between you know saying your personal life and the podcast. But one thing I want to know: Have y'all ever had that moment when y'all had an interview and you was like, you watch it like, damn, I can't pull not one clip out this weak ass interview. <laughs> Uh, like, yeah, I, I don't want to single handedly oh, no, point at episodes, po- but yeah. Yeah, there has uh, been. There's yes. gonna, that's at least ten of them. Yeah. So what do you do in those episodes? Because like I have, like I, I told, just post the flyer, dog. That's what I did. If I, you want to check out the full episode? Link is, is here. Like, dog. I, I make the I make the edit for going out on YouTube. I do the audio bit, and I'm like, all right, done. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 you guys yeah. find it. Because yeah. you guys, you when I was on your show. My, oh, my, my we got people, ten like yes. other ten clips that you guys don't know. Oh yeah, no, <laughs> no. My like, people kept so talking about because nobody knew, include my uh, my uncle who's like real close to me and stuff. Nobody knew about my whole nothing uh, story. Oh, so it's yeah, funny. No. I, I was <laughs> I was scared to repost it because I is my wife is my wife gonna trip? But I'm like fuck it. I was only like 18, 16. Bro, it's not like it was yeah. fucking two months ago. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been a whole other fucking bullfight conversation. Hey, hold on. Speaking of though, yeah, right? I don't worry. Yeah, I'm what? never you gonna highlight it. No, like have you have y'all ever? What are you trying to say? You're sleeping with your with your lady, and you wake up and you had like a wet dream and didn't know it. No, nah, not not to this day. No. Oh yeah, 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 I, yeah, not, what? Not, not I had one like a month ago, and I feel like oh, an asshole. <laughs> Just tell her, you know, I was thinking about you, honey. And shit, hey, but it's you know? like you got hurt, you got the bed, <laughs> changes yourself. Like damn, well, I, feel, I feel like a jackass right now. Bro, I, I ain't gonna lie. One of my biggest fears is like me saying somebody else's name. <laughs> we're either you know like having yeah, dream sex or some shit, shit, or like while dreaming and shit. Yeah, 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 I ain't yeah. gonna lie. I'm like, cause my you know my girl got access to my guns and shit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and she white, so it's like. <laughs> It's a little, uh, you know, you, you seen the fucking documentaries yeah, online, dog. Sure. You know, all those fucking, and this is the case of the, yeah. the mom to murder the family yeah. and fucking shot herself. You know, like, yeah, for sure. You know, so. Hell yeah. Now, uh, you know, on some, on, some, on some deeper shit. Oh, shit. Like, when, when you know, say we going through depression a lot, you know, people go through shit. Like, man, who do y'all have to talk to when times get hard? You know what I'm saying? You already explained how you was going through a rough time with uh, unemployment and shit like that, losing, you know what I'm saying, a relationship. Who do y'all have outside each other, you know what I'm saying, to talk to it can really get y'all back on y'all shit? Damn. 
Definitely my parents. Yeah. I, I'll always go to them. Yeah. For sure. Mm -hmm. they, they're, they're the ones that, you know, they've been there for so much that I I'll at least want to, like, you know, give them something back and be like, hey, like, I want to open up to you guys and just be like, hey, like, let me just come over and just talk outside. Like, you know, just sit on the patio, just be like, hey, it's, yeah. this, is what, this is what's happening to me. For sure. Right yeah, now. Yeah. I ain't got, I am a little jealous of that shit. <laughs> what, 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 you know, I was raised in, the, in another country, so mm -hmm. uh, it's more, uh, more of a manly, like, machismo type of attitude to where, mm -hmm. like, you got to hide that shit. Shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you know, like you don't open up to your dad type shit. <laughs> yeah, like, like, you you pussy. Like, what am I? A pussy? <laughs> like what the fuck? Like so like and again it's not I'm not bashing Mario, I'm just no, for sure. it's different cultures and shit. Yeah. So probably I mean my mom and my girl definitely, you know, I I don't think I have boundaries to where I open up to them, especially if I'm having a rough time. Yeah. Again, I own guns, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we ain't trying to fucking do something stupid, so it's like you, yeah. you gotta be real you gotta you gotta recognize the, the seriousness of it, you know, yeah, not just brush sure. it off. Yeah, it, it, it's it's crazy you say about cultures. We speaking of it, it's like how like with the in the black community like it's like I ain't gonna speak for everybody but it's like when you try 18 get the fuck out but we see other cultures like they like hey don't leave until you until able you're to, able to yeah. I ain't gonna so lie. I'm the first one to say that dude I, I live with my parents and I'm not ashamed of it till I was fucking what, what, a year ago 27 and a half 20? same yeah and he moved out a year ago you know what exactly. I mean? and, and my parents were never like when the fuck are you moving out they were yeah. none of that shit they mm. were like you know they might not be there for my feelings and shit, <laughs> but, but, but they, they show love in different ways you know what I mean they're like hey if, if you're obviously you know not ready for what is and I'm first generation. I don't know if, if I told you guys this. Mm -hmm. So, like, my parents, you know, they, they come from a whole other, you know, fucking taxes and shit like yeah. that, dog. Like, fuck, you know, yeah. they're not used to American, like, culture. I mean, they are now, but, you know, they, they in, in Mexico, is very common for even people like taking care of their parents down when they're old so mm -hmm. like you know there'd be a married couple like for example me and my girl would be taking care of my parents in the same yeah. household mm -hmm. as their elderly they don't have like nursing homes and shit like exactly that. Yeah, yeah, yeah so it's like you know it's a pretty different culture at least mm -hmm. that i can see yeah. and i think it's a little bit you know on the better side per se because it's like they're still your kids you know yeah. I mean? not for sure it's like it's like that like that boundary of like of when you say like when you turn 17 when you're 17 and a half and 18 yeah. you're still the same motherfucking <laughs> person you know what I mean like what what is this fucking switch like you loved me yesterday but fuck me today fuck right yeah. like <laughs> so it's like so yeah. what now do you think about life like what if your parents were that type of parent like hey you you 18 get the fuck out get the fuck out <laughs> Like, I mean, how, how can you envision life? If, I, uh, I mean, I, I've said this ooh. in the podcast, and maybe because I've gotten lucky with, you know, such great parents. Shit, they sacrificed their lives to be in this bitch. Literally, like, they, you know, yeah, I don't want to put too mine, much yeah. out there, but they no, literally, sure. they fucking, you know, crossed the border one way that probably is not very, you know, nice to cross the border. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, you know, and, and it's and it's crazy because it's like I can't sit and complain on how they treated me after the fact. Yeah. You know, they gave me a whole other life. I could have been dead in Mexico right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. it's like, yeah. And, and I'm also a big fan. You know how you say you like to give people flowers? before they die mm. up to like a couple years ago i just stopped holding shit against my parents because it's like you gotta understand when my parents had me they were early 20s yeah i still don't know what the fuck i'm doing i'm 29 though. Sure, yeah, no, so offense. i grew up with them essentially mm -hmm. so I, I can't be looking at them like oh you fucking sucked as a yeah. parent because yeah, yeah, yeah. you didn't know what you were doing yeah, it was still they were 21 yeah. Yeah, exactly. like what the fuck like well, why mm -hmm. do we why are we have this such hand standards no that's true parents and Hell, it's yeah. like they were growing up with us exactly like yeah of course it's not good to beat your fucking kid yeah, you know yeah, but yeah, like yeah. They, they didn't know what to do shit i I want to beat the shit out of my cat. I can't, you know. But it's like, sure. <laughs> like no, fat son. That's that's a fact. That's yeah. a fact for real. Because that's how I is with my oldest son. Like I, I have three kids, but my oldest son is, is much older than my two little ones. Mm -hmm. And I'm a whole different parent from when I was with him. I was growing up, you know. what I'm saying, and now yeah. with my with my son, and my daughter's like, it's, it's just a walk in the park. Right. You know what I'm saying? You're like, so, oh shit. He's, yeah. You know, they're crying. You're like, oh okay. Yeah. You know, like, <laughs> now, um, uh, my uh, my uh, cousin, her uh, fiance is, is, is from uh, Nigeria. And he was saying, like, coming over here, he was like, man, y'all motherfuckers are lazy. <laughs> I mean, he was like, he was like. How can you tell? <laughs> he was like, man, I came over here, and I just worked, and I, I moved up, moved up, moved up. He said, y'all don't want to work. You know, coming from where I come from, like, shit, we look at this like, this is a luxury. And y'all take it, you know what I'm saying? Dude, I ain't going to lie. Granted. Again, living, we literally touched on this in our last episode and the last few months. If, like, if you're not, if, if you're from outside the U.S. and mm -hmm. you get to the U.S., mm -hmm. you see how hard work can easily get you far. For sure. And just being consistent. Because, again, it's maybe, we have different hardships, but 
if if you're in another country mm-hmm. complaining about your mental health dude that's a luxury <laughs> you know, for sure, yeah. like that and, and 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 you know i i, I, I want to say it almost in a fun way but it's, it's at the end of the day it's like it's sad reality it's like here in america we have a, a luxury of complaining about what people call us what fucking pronouns they used against yeah, us yeah. like you don't have that luxury in a country <laughs> no. where you can't get fucking water bro <laughs> no, like, sure. get, like what the fuck yeah. so if you have a pretty good work ethic and you know discipline which again i'm not holier than thou i don't i'm not saying i have those things yeah. per se because you know we all have days that we don't even want to do shit you know i grew up american too <laughs> but I, i've been able to recognize that that portion of like yeah like you can outwork motherfuckers yeah. real quick bro no. you now gotta be good better than them yeah just yeah it's, just it's, it's work them like you said y'all, y'all mentioned consistency yeah just, like, you know what i'm saying showing yeah. that effort that work that, yeah, that shit gonna get you and you far. gotta respect you gotta take your hat off for people that do shit right to be no you know not to be disrespectful but like we we don't really do things outside of our own project you know mm-hmm. like we get invited to shit and stuff like that and it's like i've, I've been seeing you for a long time now yeah. um and it's like dude that consistency like you have no idea how fucking it's it's yeah. top notch like no. you you were gonna get fired you just do that for another fucking 10 years no for sure hell yeah hell like, yeah hell yeah hell yeah man what about you uh i don't know what we're talking about but <laughs> <laughs> i feel like he got too sentimental and it's like you know what i agree i agree fuck it whatever like, oh, what? 10 years consistency i got it. Yeah. <laughs> no, but- he's like let me write that shit down <laughs> No, I do well leave. Uh, no, you talk, you're talking about no, the uh, Nigerian uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, <laughs> hardworking yeah, people. I, I didn't want to leave right. Mario, uh, uh, and, you know, saying not in, right, the, right. in the conversation. <laughs> it happens like, quite a bit. Like Mario, we got lost. Like, yeah, <laughs> no. What are we talking about? We're talking about Nigeria. Oh yeah, so going to Africa. <laughs> yeah, it's like never been there. Yeah, yeah, no, tell never but, been like, there. How, with your family, you know, what I'm saying, do you feel like like they be, they be on the same shit? Like, hey, this one. It, it was definitely because they came. They immigrated from Argentina in the mm-hmm. '80s, so. And, but it was it was weird how they it was weird how they did it. My grandparents and my dad and uncle they would flip flop back and forth. But they, coming you know for doing that multiple times, not yeah. even just once. It's like okay, they're they want to do this for the family, you know, and make it better and find a place that they can yeah. call home again. For sure. And then you know with his parents, we had early twenties. You said right, like they had you. My parents were thirty when I was born, but still it was just like. Yeah, I found like they were still kind of getting used to it because they only really started, you know, learning how to be. You guys learning how to be American, quote unquote, exactly. like, in, the, in the early '90s, maybe. Yeah. So trying to like follow along with them and figuring out, okay, like, what's well, well how, to, how to help your kid learn English, learn Spanish along the way too, and things like that. And just kind of like getting used to the American education yeah. system and exactly. whatnot. Well, that was a sucks, fun time. <laughs> yeah. Like, it, I can't express how bad the system here is, man. <laughs> Just coming from the city yeah, and then just, going to some the suburbs, like, it's like what the fuck? Like I remember my uh, <laughs> my cousin, mom was like, yeah, when you go, I was transferring from uh, Detroit Public Schools to Gross Point, and like, yeah, he's like, what grade are you getting? I'm like, I'm getting A's. Oh, you'll be getting C's. Like what? Like, I, was, I didn't know I was sitting next to a rich man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm a 4.0 student. Like I'm on National yeah, Arts Society. Detroit yeah. Public Schools though. Yeah, she's she, she like, she like, I'm telling you. I'm like, man, she talking, she talking crazy. So I got to Gross Point. <laughs> Like, what the fuck? That shit dropped. Like, I didn't know what the fuck was going on. Like, what the fuck? Like, we was not doing this type of shit in school. Like, yeah. it was a whole... And it was just a culture shock because i never seen as many white people in my life. Mm. So I'm coming from a school that, you know, we had one white person. They was Josh. Josh was the only white person in the school. And, he, and everybody knew Josh. Everybody knew Josh. Josh yeah. was cool. Yeah. So I come to this, I cried my first day of school because of so many white people. I felt it was, <laughs> weird. I was, it was weird for me too because like I'm I, the Josh. Now. <laughs> yeah, I'm Josh. <laughs> well, literally, it was the same for me because like I went, I grew up in Mel, I grew, I grew up in Melvindale and went to school there. So like for me, all I saw was like Hispanics, Arab Americans, yeah. maybe you know like you know a, good, a mix of you know white Americans, blacks, things like that. But like, yeah. and then I go what. 10, 15 minutes south I'm yeah. going you know to like G- Gibraltar you know the Flat Rock and all that I'm like people are. I'm, I feel so out of place here <laughs> I'm like what is going on here so I had to really like and it was even like the way people talk yeah. and this was 8th grade yeah. mind you so I'm like the way people are t- speaking the way they're dressing yeah. I'm like I had to go, I, literally that first week on my mom. We have some things that we have to work on here. Exactly. I need to go to this store and this store now. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't look really bad here. <laughs> like something's happening. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I'm in mean, uh, with George. They're like, what the fuck is those? Like, yeah, you know I, ain't, I ain't gonna lie. I'm a firm believer. Uh, white schools should have metal detectors. Yeah. Oh no, for sure. That's, <laughs> That's why I t- a change. Yeah. <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> 
They should. Though. I don't know how that segue into my mind. Yeah. I don't either. <laughs> but I never understood why, like the city, like in the in the neighborhood, like why we got middle detectors. We, we don't never yeah, bring. Dude, shit we in. ain't nobody shooting each other in the fucking middle school and <laughs> trip over schools, bro. <laughs> like, come on, bro. Yeah, I've yet to see. Have you? Q, have you seen, I've yet to see like a, a black dude coming to school and air it out. Nah. <laughs> Maybe they have like a get, get killed outside. Mm-hmm. Right. Maybe there's a knife. Yeah, right. Like we yeah, can't no, just no, talk about yeah, being outside. Yeah, on but the inside, yeah. though. But in yeah. school, we there, never. There's a casual but, knife once yeah. in a while, but maybe. Yeah. Right, right, right. <laughs> shit, I used to carry a knife when I was in school. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! What's some shit this year? What's, your, what's some shit y'all learned about yourself that y'all even know? Like, damn, I'm I'm full of shit, or damn, I'm a dope person. Oh, like, my. what's some shit that you learned about yourself this year? That that I don't like people trying to change me for who I am. Yeah, oh, that, that was going back to that ex dog. <laughs> it was that. It was definitely that. Yeah. yeah, learning just like. Also, did you feel like you was like changing for the worst in that relationship? Because we can be like a worse version of ourselves trying to please somebody. Yeah. No, I I, I just from noticing the kind of things that I would. Just, it was just normal me. Mm-hmm. It was just like. I, well, I don't feel like this is wrong. You yeah. know, I'm, I'm cool with who I am. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like I don't have people coming. I don't have people telling me that you know when I'm how I speak or how I conduct myself in person is like really messed up mm-hmm. or anything. Like, no, it doesn't mean that I don't want that to happen. Like, if I, this guy will tell me. He'll be the first. one of the first I'll, to tell I'll me. Be the first one to tell him he's full of shit. <laughs> Very true. So got to, got to. But no, I, I think it was just learning that. Yeah, the world can be. It can change on you, and you gotta be mm-hmm. ready to just be like, okay, I gotta really figure things out yeah. a little bit differently and mm. sometimes take that off beaten path you know mm. in life like again, again with like you know, jobs and whatnot like yeah am i where i want, envisioned myself maybe five years ago no but yeah. am i happy where i am absolutely For sure. i can yeah, totally yeah. see it getting better i'm like okay you know what i'm glad it, i'm glad where i'm at where i'm at yeah. it's not perfect yet exactly but it's getting there yeah yeah hell yeah shit i guess one of the things and it's probably one of the realest shit i've ever said on a podcast <laughs> oh, so yeah. take notes the realest shit you <laughs> ever wrote find, <laughs> out, find, out, find, out, find that clip um <laughs> Uh, one of the things I stopped, uh, or that I learned about myself is, is how much of, uh, my problems I would put on somebody else. Mm-hmm. And I think a lot of people don't do that enough when you, when they don't realize that, oh shit, like I'm a little bit of the problem. Like I, I'm the one, I'm the solution too. Exactly, yeah. Like if, if I can't own up to it and actually strive to make my life better, mm-hmm. no one's going to fucking make my life better. You know, yeah. it's, we're easy to point out like, oh, you know, the school I fucking went to, where I grew up, Not my parents, sure. my upbringing, my trauma. Hell yeah. But no, I'm in control of that shit. Like, mm-hmm. like yeah. stop playing the victim almost. Like exactly. fucking do, do work, get shit done, and call it a day. Yeah, I, I definitely, on. it's like uh, this year. I definitely feel like I woke up that in for like relationships too. You know, like we're always so quick to be like, oh, you know, my girl's fucking acting up again and shit, or she in a mood and shit. But it's like, but, but what? You know what <laughs> yeah, I mean? Yeah, like yeah. we're always quick, quickly to dismiss that it's not our problem per se. Yeah. And yeah, and owning up that shit, that, that that's definitely something to change this year. That was real shit, Brian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, for real. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yeah. No, because we don't like to take accountability. Yeah, dude, for and that's, and that's the universal thing. I'm sure we can all relate to. You yeah. know, we're easy to be like, oh, I was discriminated against because I'm fucking brown. You know, yeah. like, no, for sure. I, which it's happened. I'm not yeah. saying it doesn't happen, but yeah, yeah no, we got to stop playing this victim. This shit. dude, no, he he tell, he sent me a lot of shit. Then later on, he say it in, in a crazy way sometimes. But some of the shit he said, I actually listened to it. Oh, yeah. Like one, I remember it was just one thing. He was like, <laughs> I was saying something. It's like as I was telling him whatever we was talking about, I was making all these fucking excuses. Right. And ever since then, it's like, man, fuck it, hey. I remember I was getting to it with my wife's uh, cousin over like why I didn't show up to a basketball game because we was coaching. And I just said, hey, you know what? I fucked up. Like, I didn't show up. You needed me. I wasn't there. Yeah, you mm-hmm. catch people off guard. It was like, yeah, it was like, yeah. she was like what? She was like ready for the argument. Right. And mm-hmm. I actually you owned take up. all that power. Exactly. Uh-huh. Like, it's like the eight mile fit. Like with Eminem and oh, shit. Yeah. Like, I'm going to tell bro, you why I did. was ahead of his time, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Using your flaws against your enemies, dude, you leave them speechless, man. Yeah, so it's like, <laughs> what the fuck do you even, it's no point. Is First of all, we too old to be lying. <laughs> yeah, I you know true, what I'm yeah. saying. It's easier to tell the truth. Yeah, <laughs> and that second, shit you gotta keep track of. It's though. like, what the fuck you gonna do? You gonna you gonna hurt me? Like, like just hey, hey, I I, I was on bullshit today. Right, right. Nigga, what what the fuck you want me to do? Yeah. I I didn't want to show up. I was I was watching Alliance. I'm not coaching on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Sign football. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's one of the realest stuff I've heard. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, that's Don't fuck. <laughs> we do we do a podcast on Sundays and on football Sundays. Oh, we gonna hey, you can't come at eleven o'clock then. 
Hey, you ain't coming. That's yeah, yeah, I gotta be like down by twelve thirty. We won't watch football. He gonna go stay and watch football with my granddad. I'm gonna go home and watch it oh, in my yeah, basement. We head in the podcast at three. Mom. Yes, yep. <laughs> solid. Not a solid. This yeah. is why I'm glad we do ours on Fridays. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, we, yeah. Now we shoot Tuesday, Fridays. So that's for sure, cool. for sure. Now, like I said, I want to bounce back between real life and podcast shit. Okay. So one thing with the podcast, man, like I know early on, I was kind of like afraid to have certain people not knowing that we can connect as far as conversation. Like prior to me and you, I, I we, we probably don't have much in common, but we able to. Have have a conversation dialogue right. um i had uh this one girl smart as fuck four years oh shit more than four years in college i didn't know if i could have the conversation to be able to have her mm-hmm. engaged which i i was able to do it so are you learning things about yourself as far as like engagement being able to talk to people that you didn't grow up with or who didn't grow up in your type of background and shit like that you know yeah. what i'm saying and you like surprised like damn i could actually hold a, a conversation, conversation with somebody with yeah, who's totally different from me uh, yeah, I mean, I, I can only speak for myself. You know, I, I definitely was afraid. And I think that goes back down to, like, the fear when you start the stuff like a podcast. Mm. You're afraid to sometimes go outside of the norm you know. Like, you know, maybe just your community is on. Mm. Or people that you kind of have a same playing field and knowledge and stuff. But now it's like, it, 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 if, if you don't actually take that risk mm. to, like, talk with somebody outside of your comfort zone, you're never going to know how much you have in common. Exactly. And, that, and, and if you don't do that, you're never going to evolve as a person you're going to be just in a loop exactly it's like people that go to, to the same nine to five and and you know i'm i'm, I'm not i've been there you know mm, i can't yeah. i can't again i'm not saying that i'm holier than thou but mm. it's like and you complain about not having money and mm. shit like that well, well how about get a <laughs> job that can pay better because <laughs> <Yeah, exactly. laughs> you know right. I mean? like, yeah. it's, it's only going to happen the same thing every week your yeah. bills your rent and stuff ain't going to go exactly. away it's going to be the same so it's like yeah. we always like to be in a comfort zone mm. but we also like to complain about that so yeah. it's like nah yeah no and then we've I mean, shit we've had fucking we had uh a guest that called in from fucking california mm. her name uh shout out to a- anime mm. she she literally worked at nasa dog she yeah. fucking, she's, a, she's in the, she's she in the military, military yeah. and she's clearly like doing better exactly. things in life than yeah, you know yeah, yeah. respectfully me and my <laughs> <laughs> but we had a fucking over three Great. hour conversation yeah, good conversation. Easy. and it was you know easy my vocabulary sucks you know because my english is my second I mean, language. Yeah, yeah. but uh, that's a whole other conversation yeah. but like yeah no like you'd be surprised how much stuff you have in common with other people exactly Exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Hey, you know who somebody who I, uh, I enjoy uh, hearing them speak after they find like the English language is Canelo. I like the way I like the way I like the bitch Son yeah. of my bitch <laughs> You motherfucking cocksucker <laughs> He be fucking going I'm so happy out. now That he be talking So much shit now yeah. man Oh yeah. he's, he's, he's What he's the like, fuck You looking like at you bitch Yeah man He's great dude he's Yeah, yeah. Uh, What about you uh, uh, Mario yeah, it was, like, it, It's similar to the same That Brian said Cause like I'll admit Any time that He tells me Oh we got a guest We got this good person This person I'll look him like Hmm Would I have made this choice I don't know like, <laughs> right, right, right. At face value I do I'll do them Like mm, maybe their kind of music Isn't for like how I Love what I like, no, or maybe this kind of, <laughs> it's, not, it's more than one, <laughs> more than one. <laughs> but like, but but the cool thing about me is that for someone, okay, so I went to school for journalism, so I yeah, wanted to, actually, being someone who like I I appreciate just being able to ex- meet people and experience you know their kind of lifestyle and maybe mm-hmm. like learn more about them and how they grew up and things like that. So I think that overpowers anything like any like kind of like f- initial like ah, I'm not into that or whatever sure, so sure. having all these all the different people that we've had whether in person virtual and you know they're from the other side of the country or yeah. wherever they might be it's like I appreciate every single one of them mm. you know, conversations may not but always be the best mm. sometimes but I love just having that and being like okay you know maybe there's some things about them that I didn't see myself or exactly, maybe yeah. something like oh, you know what I dig it. Maybe I'll want to, I want to do it or exactly, something like that. Exactly. Because the interview is to change people. You know what I'm saying? You, a lot of times, I'm, I, I've been changed on how I saw an interview. Like, damn, maybe they're not as bad as I thought they were. Like, let me go ahead and go ahead and check out the music again. Like, they so dope, I want to go ahead and give them a second chance. You know what I'm saying? Like, the music was ass the first time. Yeah, you are like, damn, I, I got a yeah, fake to know which yeah, one I like. But I enjoyed you so much on this, on this interview. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go back and give it a second yeah. try. Bro, that changes, though. I ain't going to lie. It's does. happened to us before, too, where we listen to somebody's music. I'm like, damn, I don't even want to have them in this bitch bro like this shit's kind of <laughs> ass you, you, and then I listen to it after <laughs> the fact I'm like oh shit like yeah, it's this fire bro <laughs> <laughs> like what the fuck like what you, 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 you've walked in on uh, to, uh, to my house and you're like I gotta admit man there's only about two songs. I'm like, I gotta listen yeah. to three albums. Oh two my songs god, bro, good. bro, I I ain't lied so many times on this platform. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got dope project. <laughs> you know the legal aliens they be having some dope ass content. Man, <laughs> I, I, I ain't lied about so many people who, who music wise, like yeah, I was. What you said right there? Oh my god, that's my shit right there. It's yeah. not even a song. Yeah. Shit up. Exactly, exactly. You was on some Tupac shit right there. <laughs> 
<laughs> the fucking bell and shit, dude. Yeah. Now, I, I cannot talk about podcasts without talking about the latest situation you guys have had. Oh, shit. Oh, that one. <laughs> yeah, you. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that one. It's only right. So, I forgot about that. Though. You guys had somebody. It wasn't a guest. Thankfully. <laughs> we're, 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 but you had somebody. I respect we should have a nameless because I don't think he deserves to. Yeah, no, I don't know his name. I don't know his name. You know what I'm saying? Fuck him. <laughs> fuck but uh, he, 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 uh, he had put, made a post saying, oh, you think I want to come on this bullshit podcast? Yeah. But then you got, you had the receipts. And oh, he and actually, I, we only posted half of that shit. Yeah. We didn't even fucking bother to <laughs> he give actually, him more time a day. Yeah, he actually inquired about coming on the podcast. Suck my dick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, how do you feel about bullshit like that? Like, and then that really show you right there. People just use them platforms because right. for him to say that, but then a year prior to say, "Hey, can I come on the podcast?" One, he probably didn't pay attention to the podcast. He probably was just trying to. Get on, Pretty cause you much. got you got a lot of those people who don't no, know shit a lot about of your show. That just mm. pretend to like your shit enough yeah. to get on. Exactly, just and after to the fact, they don't shit. like. Yeah, I don't even yeah, care about. So them. We've had a handful. We of had people like you should know certain things that I ask or certain things that I talk about. If you came to me trying to come on the podcast, right. you don't know shit. So it's like you just use this as a way. I mean, I understand, but don't act like you know what's going on. Right, right. Like <laughs> you right. know what I'm saying. So with that situation, did, are you like more careful into like who you choose to be on the podcast? Because say you would have had him on the show. For him to shit on y'all afterwards, you know what I'm saying? Are you more careful as far as uh, like I would have made so many fucking clips? <laughs> right. Uh no, I mean, but at the end of the day, I think it's it's the mentality that we've always had since we started. It's just gotten a little bit better now that we're, you know, as as like, people are more established, I guess. Yeah, you people can are say becoming that, more aware of us. Of like kind of weeding out bullshit or not ignoring that like deep down feeling because mm-hmm. something deep down told us yeah no fuck this motherfucker yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know even at, at the time allegedly he had 20,000 followers which I don't know how you lose followers like that but that's another half. conversation <laughs> uh, like you Supposedly. know so it's like for us we had like what a couple hundred followers like that would have been like you know obvious choice oh exactly. fuck come on hell yeah come on oh, hey. fuck that shit dude. Yeah. like so I, I think that's that's one thing to where like we don't wish animosity and that was out of character a little bit I ain't gonna lie Mm-hmm. From us because we don't like to bash anybody exactly, publicly. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, but mean, when it comes would, to when you're hurting people <laughs> or you threaten to hurt people, yeah. that's where I, you know, we yes, cross bullshit. that line. That's, yeah. a, that's, that's another where, bullshit. Yeah, that. I don't take any personal or I don't lose any sleep over mm-hmm. that. But when you actually are actively yeah. fucking up the community that. You know, we're trying to push up. Mm. Nah, bro, we can't let that happen. And I don't care if I lose connections. You exactly. know, like if somebody is afraid now that I might bash them down the road if they exactly. do some fuck shit, then I wasn't fucking you to yeah. begin with. You know, but it's like shit. It was deserved. Like it was deserved from you to go ahead and go at him for him posting y'all shit and saying like yeah. what he said. Right. Like y'all bury me, I would put his name out there. Like, hey, fuck <laughs> you, you fuck ass motherfucker. We did put his name out there. It was a, <laughs> we, we, the only thing we didn't do was tag him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or but they yeah. them. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> corner of the bile. <laughs> that, that's what the bio says. Yeah. I, you know? But are you are you guys prepared for shit like that? Like when you encounter these motherfucking guests who like might go back at you on some bullshit just because of something they ain't like. Well, yeah. very early on, we we always told us, ourselves like, hey, listen, like if when we get to this point, yeah. you know, we're Again, you know, more yeah. aware. Like, there's gonna be some. You're gonna have like, haters, some, bro. Yeah, there's yeah. gonna be those kind of people coming at you for, for sure. whatever reason. Right. You know, yeah. we don't try to. We don't go after anybody. And, and it's really, the internet. So. It's the internet. One thing I learned early on is like, again, we. we have the unfortunate or fortunate i don't know how you want to call it of going viral mm. and being flooded with comments about like the way you look the way you are yeah. Yeah. and early on i at least i noticed i'm like oh, these words mean nothing exactly it's true. a total stranger you know yeah. shit i barely care sometimes of what people close to me say to me it might be the luck of having to grow up in a different culture because in mexico if your parents and your family loves you mm. they give you a nickname for how like your worst like characteristics yeah. so like if you're fat they call you gordo and shit which translates to fat little boy yeah. yep. so like that and, that and that's how the culture is you know it's yeah. teasing each other so it's like if somebody in the internet calls me like you think I give a fuck <laughs> so like early on I think we got really lucky of like oh like the internet is just the internet yeah. you know, it's just a bunch of fucking incels everywhere for sure you know? hell, yeah. So. hell yeah hell yeah shout out to Sound Liberty oh, shit <laughs> he, be, he be he be going he be tearing my ass up man pause <laughs> <laughs> No, did he? <laughs> yeah, man. I remember, and then, like I say, I can't. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I let shit get to me when people say, you know, say. I mean, we're human at the yeah, end of the yeah, day. Yeah. You know, was I upset a couple weeks ago? Yeah. A little bit. It was, it was surprising. It, it goes away. Yeah. You know? like, fuck it. Yeah. yeah, that's. But that same motherfucker been 
Hey, I heard he bad business for a lot of things that he do. Yeah. Oh. And you know, my girlfriend said it best in the ring with me. Damn, if you if you got that lucky on the lottery pull when you were born, mm. but you can't get out of Detroit, yeah. then you don't got connections. Though. No, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, damn, like my my girl be saying some shit that I'm like, because she grew, she grew up white and poor white, which you know it's a different kind of struggle, yeah, yeah, right? Different white. So so she so she's not like so she's not like hip to like being in the city and yeah. like you know like the culture and everything with it. Mm. So when she be seeing some yeah. stuff or like some characters he's like this is what people make fun of yeah. and this is why there's racism and I'm like oh my god what the fuck yeah. so but it's, it's you know it's always funny to get those insights for sure hell yeah hell yeah, hell yeah. Like, w- w- was you ready to go ahead and talk some shit to him too man like <laughs> I mean I would say he, he, uh, he, he, he told me very early like do not engage just, yeah. let, it, just let it ride let it out yeah. Yeah. I, I look I'm like it, just, it was just a depressing seeing that it's like, sad it's just, dude. It really I'm was. Gonna, I, it's I like didn't, generally sad I think yeah. I was just too depressed to say anything back to yeah. him because then I'm seeing other people respond like oh you pull, you're pointing this out actually I have something here yeah, so it's dude. like we got so God much damn. shit in our DMs yeah. dude man it's so like of, of screenshots and yeah. I'm like dog I yeah. can take you to court but see, I just hate when people just like <laughs> just use their power like you know yeah. cause he what power I mean I guess his parents <laughs> Okay. His parent probably, you know what I'm saying, but just use it, you know what I'm saying, to get over on people. Like, uh-huh. that's <laughs> again, I I come from a country where your words can get you killed. Yeah, no, for you know sure. what I mean. Yeah. Like, I literally have classmates that I grew up with that are yeah. now dead because they got beheaded, they got shot. Mm-hmm. You think I care about? Yeah, some, you some giving me a word. little bit bullshit, threat, yeah. bro. You're insinuating that you're gonna up. Yeah, like, no, do something. Sure. Like, 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 you think I don't have guns on me all the time yeah, too? Like, yeah. okay, motherfucker. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what did you know? You what did you say the other day about that? You're like, I'm gonna smile when it happens. Like, I. Hey, I can use it. Yeah, yeah. right. right. You're, you're gonna threaten me? Like, yeah, okay, whatever. Fuck it. For sure, yeah, man, man, just man. live your life, man. Yeah, you get a lot of that bullshit, man. For real, for real, man. <laughs> right. Just, just cause he ain't. <laughs> to my management, like motherfucker, that's you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, man. Yeah, man. I, I, I have got um, I have got that. On my end too. I, know, I got another one of those yesterday, dog. Man, I I I'm the got manager of Blunt. but but the thing the funny thing about it, with this uh, situation of mine, this dude was from Pontiac, and I didn't. I didn't like the music, but I still was gonna let him come on the show. I had my days messed up. I apologize to him. Like, listen, bro, you can't come on this day, but you can come on. No, he couldn't come on the show. Oh, so I'm like, pause. yeah, he couldn't come. <laughs> uh. But I'm like, listen, three in three weeks. I have a free spot. You can come on the show. And he was like, oh, man, that's some bullshit. I'm trying to get on right now. Fuck you. You doing dirty I, business. I hate that shit. Uh, so I kept on saying, hey, salute, salute. All right, man, good good job. Like, I'm just like, whatever. He's like, man, fuck you. And then he go put on the, uh, in the story, like, my podcast, my bad business. Now, how's it bad business? We, we never have nothing happened. No scheduling. money has changed. Ske- scheduling conflicts. Yeah, what do like, you mean bad business? You could come on the show. I told you a date that we could do that was nowhere near the, you know, say probably a month later, yeah. and you got mad. Now you calling me. That, that's one thing that uh, we used to, do, at least I, I thought we used to do when we started, is we used to sometimes bend our schedules to people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But now that again, we actually recognize that we're established, mm-hmm. like. We want to take the shit seriously, right? Mm. So it's like, no, like if you were making the effort to come to us, I mean, we'll kind of compromise, but it's going to be on these days. Exactly, yeah. Like we got life and shit, like, exactly, you know, yeah. like my Everybody, time is yeah, valuable. Yeah, for sure. Even for editing, bro. Like obviously the reason we pick Tuesday and Friday is because we have to have space between shit mm. or, you know, we need ourselves breathing space to, because it, it's a lot of work. People don't see that. And that's one thing I salute you for is yeah. that, dude, uh, shit's not, you can't just, you know, like people think you just fucking shut up shop, fuck. And hit upload and call it exactly. a fucking day. Like, oh, dog. Yeah. Like, this shit is hours and yeah. hours. People don't yeah. see yeah. of work. For sure. And it's like, yeah, no, if you're not even going to make the effort to show up, like, we've had people cancel on us. Yeah. They reach out to us. Mm. And it's like, I hate that shit. And oh it's God. like, I'm not going to go chase you then again exactly. for, Fuck that. to it's reschedule. Over. Like, no, like, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, come on, bro. Like, yeah. What are we doing here? Yeah, you like, to me. When, it's like no, like no. We we you have to you know set yourself at a, at a standard, mm. and you know whether I have fucking one follower or one person watching, then I have fucking million. It don't matter. Yeah, you, yeah. Know, you gotta like, you gotta keep your integrity. last week. We posted this last week, but reschedule some came up. And, and I and I know I respect I that that communication. Yeah, is yeah, though, exactly. bro. Like hey, if man. you told me two minutes when yeah. I'm outside <laughs> front of your house, it'll be a different story. You know what I mean? I had to happen. I had people. Hey, the interview at twelve o'clock. They hit me up at twelve o five. Hey man. I gotta reschedule. Motherfucker, I don't live here. Right. I come in, right. I'm coming from the, uh, Livonia. I'm coming from, I'm like 25 minutes away. We've had people that like, 
tell us the day of. Oh yeah, you know, I'll, I'll be there a little bit late, but I'll be there. Yeah, and then they're like, and oh, then we literally, we're oh, starting to shoot, and either it's radio silence or like I'm not making it. Yeah, but <laughs> it's like really, like, what the fuck? That's what that's how we learn too off the rip and uh, of like not promoting shit in advance. Like yep, if we do yep, something, yep, bro, yep. behind the scenes, boom. Yeah, day of. Exactly. That's when everybody finds exactly. out that shit that, because people hit me up like, are you gonna put anything out saying that we gonna have this show on Friday? Right, no. Right. <laughs> not till right. you show Hell up. Hell no, motherfucker. Yeah. We haven't shot it yet. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not promoting this shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. one particular dude I thought was going to have on the show, I'm like, I ain't about to promote this shit. Right. And he didn't come. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, and, and, and we keep it, you know, pretty straight across the board because we, we had a, a guest that's, I mean, relatively famous. Uh, of MC Magic is probably the biggest guest we've had on right. so far. Mm-hmm. And, you know, he fucking, and at least in the Chicano, you know, Mexican community, mm-hmm. he's, he's just, massive. <laughs> he's massive, dude. Yeah. Like, he's still selling out shows mm-hmm. after you know i don't want to say peaked in the early 2010s but you mm. know he's just older yeah. like many artists and shit and uh and we could have easily you know milk the fuck out of that we could have yeah. been like oh you know tune in blah 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 yep. shit. Yeah, we yeah. didn't even do a live no it like, wasn't. We, like i was in my attic and shit and we just dropped yeah, it the day of, like you know when we released it yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. man it's like if you keep that for everybody i want to make everybody exactly. feel that no way. for sure hell yeah hell yeah like What's your, what's your day to day life away from podcasting? Like, what's what, what's fun for y'all on y'all everyday life shit? Uh, I, I Other than the nine to five. Uh, yeah. Well, I, I, I'm a auto technician. I'm sure you know that probably mm. from my bio. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I work in cars at a dealership that I don't want to disclose, but uh, sure. uh, yeah. So the, I'm a I'm a mas- master auto tech. Mm. Um, so that's what I like to do. Not on my free time because I live in an apartment. Mm. But um, that and to be honest, just editing, bro. I like yeah. I like production. I like sound. I like music mm. um so i'm gonna give a shout out to southwest fest whoever sees this that's not aware of mexican town mm. i'm actually doing the sound in one of their stages okay Hell so yeah, you dope. know it's gonna be dope um and that's one of the reasons that actually got me into podcasting which is funny yeah <laughs> their sound was so ass the, the first, first year, year. <laughs> i mean like terrible yeah. that i was like I'm gonna teach myself how to do sound. For sure. How long did it take you like figure that shit out? Like a couple be- YouTube videos. Okay, okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah YouTube, YouTube University. University. Yeah. 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 I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna keep it a hundred. A week ago, I was like, uh, I didn't have a tool to do certain thing, a job at, the, mm. at you know at the dealership. You yeah. know where they, how the people see the dealership being this fucking glorified yeah. service department. I YouTube the shit out of that man, shit, bro. It I was twenty so seconds. Shit. I was like, damn. That yeah. was like, damn. Was that man? Oh, that <laughs> is so many situations. I do. I, I was like, yo. I just made fucking eighty dollars. Yeah, I YouTube everything, dog. Oh, everything. Like, YouTube's a bad motherfucker. Hell yeah, hell yeah, man. For sure. What about you? What's your day to day life like as far as like fun for you? Is what, uh, what's so shit? Away from the uh, the grind of working and whatnot. Like like Brian, anything with editing and getting into like getting into that. Um, like college, it was where I learned how to do video editing and audio stuff, and then I it disappeared. And then getting podcast started, I was like, I want to get back and learn this stuff. So mm-hmm. it's pretty fun. It's it is very fun. I like to just kind of do it once in a while. Just like at this, just kind of like. Yeah. A two hours like ah, i could do have some fun with this exactly uh i've been getting into well with southwest fest now it's like i'm getting a little bit more into photography i want to get into that you know get better at that so mm-hmm. you'll, if you see me there i'll be kind of just going around shooting yeah. some shots and whatnot yeah. but you know you you call me a retired soccer player i'm not there yet <laughs> Might as well there oh yet. man there's a funny clip if you look it up on uh, i highly recommend everybody to check this out oh no there's a clip of him with crutches that he injured himself yeah. and i was like cripple your weight of the drum kit we used to have a drum kit at the old, yeah. uh, the old studio, yeah. and we were fucking with him all oh, fucking. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I know. I come we in were there. like, come on, cripple. <laughs> I know. I was like, sprained my MCL, man. Oh, it's like the smallest <laughs> bone. He wasn't even playing when he got injured, dude. He wasn't like running or anything. I think oh, right. No, I was playing at that were time. With, oh, with yeah, the crutches. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. That's, 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 my, that's my worst fear is getting hurt that I can't work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that was. Yeah, crutches. Yeah. And I'm like, cripple your way to the dude. I was like that for like two months, man. Because like I was trying to show my girls because I coach basketball, and I felt like, damn, my Achilles is tight. Like, let me go. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop because I ain't about to fuck up and blow my Achilles and can't work. Dude, and then when you're getting older, bro, that yeah. shit oh, I know. fuck you up. Yeah, bro. Like, I got stress. I'm starting to stress now. Yeah, like a, like, year, a year ago, I almost blew my calf out. All yeah. I wanted to do was just kick a ball. Like, I just placed it. I went to run to it. My plant foot, like, you know, where you step before you kick. It, I just, it felt like somebody hit me with a baseball bat. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm done for like two months, three months. Yeah, and now I have man. to, like, really stretch it. Yeah, might as well be retired it. at this point, though. Yeah. 
<laughs> no, I still, I'll still play. No, I still do. What's uh, the, I mean, what's, what's the worst advice and best advice you guys have received? It could be podcast related, life. Oh shit, we asked this shit. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's like full oh, circle shit, now. Man. It's like, oh shit, oh, man, great <laughs> monster life. Yeah, literally. Though. <laughs> I've never had thought about it though, because I always ask it. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, dude. God damn, that's a good one. I'm gonna have to think a couple seconds. <laughs> I mean, at least for me, some of the uh, like good advice is that you know don't treat what you love doing as a job. Really, you know, is if you have if you're not having fun doing what you love, then what's the point of doing it? Really? Yeah. So like you know stuff like this, I absolutely love doing it. I don't like want to look at it as a. Yeah. Is this the first time job. y'all been on somebody else's podcast? Technically, no. Yes. Oh, he doesn't. Ca- well, uh, let me just say he doesn't count the first one. I, yeah. I do. It was okay. virtual, and it was like they just wanted to be on with us because you know. Shout out to uh, whatever uh, Michigan podcast. Yes, that is. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't even I, think they're in Michigan, dude. No, you know what? They uh, they're all they're, like they're all they're, they're, they're all they all originated from Michigan, but I think a couple of them are like in, yeah. yeah the, else yes, no. to answer your question, <laughs> the first podcast that we read. Yes, right, hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. I, I I am best podcast in Detroit. <laughs> yeah, man, thank you, thank you. I am one. We're of, flat rock. The, <laughs> I am one of the podcasts that have had like a lot of different different shows on my podcast. Because I'm just not afraid to sh- you know shout like show love to other shows. You know what I'm saying? Do I get that in reverse? Like a couple mm-hmm. of them, yes. Shout out to the uh, meet the connect the connect the experience. Mm-hmm. Um, you guys um, Where else I've been on Another show I can't really think of it But yeah I, I had probably like About 12 different podcast shows On my show So Damn yeah. but, but you haven't been on 12 different podcasts Hell no Hell no Hell nah, no that's, That sounds kind of bold I don't know who you guys nah, are no. But <laughs> yeah. nah, You'd be glad I don't know who you are <laughs> Hell yeah But what, what about some Some worst advice Y'all received Oh man I think the uh, I mean it goes a little bit In line with You know The best advice would be Is do what you love And if it happens To make money Then that's a good side effect mm-hmm. For that Right, right. Mm-hmm. Uh, The worst advice I've probably gotten Is everything that you do Needs to bring you money For sure uh, Because if it, I personally think Everything you do That you spend time in and you're actually happy doing it mm-hmm. that that's priceless you know yeah. now if i were to get some bread kicked that'd be nice but yeah. that's not good advice because if you're always just chasing fucking money and shit like i told you know mario's like when you die you don't take that shit you mm-hmm. know what i mean and and that's that's pretty prevalent at least maybe because i grew up poor in, yeah. in a third world country right <laughs> so they gotta have that mentality of you can't take shit to the grave Fast. but it's like what am I gonna do? Buy a better spot in the fucking cemetery? Like yeah. I'm, we all gonna die. Might as well enjoy life while you're here. You Hell know? yeah! So. Hell yeah! What's something that you wanted to be that you never told nobody? A porn star. <laughs> That was very quick. Yeah. Pause. Yeah. We'll be, no, we'll, I don't think I've ever said that ever. But, we'll be on, yeah, but I was, I was like, I was in fucking middle school. You know what I mean? Like, like I'm so, sure everybody thinks that. So right that now, if you was wait, a porn star in middle school, what? <laughs> yeah. God damn. If you was a porn star right now. Well, you know, you discover porn and shit. We'll you're like, a, I want to do that when I grow up. What will be your porn name right now? Oh, uh, Big Papa Dragon. <laughs> It's my game. Oh, play. that's right. I, my game I haven't thought that far ever, so I could <laughs> Now it makes sense. He's like, oh, fuck. I never thought that far. <laughs> that, that, but that's also a, uh, a reference to, you guys ever seen Avatar? Uh, the movie yeah. or the, the TV movie, show? The movie okay. Avatar. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, wait, the wait, movie wait. Avatar with uh, James Cameron. I'm familiar. So when 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 the bad guy goes to bomb the tree of the o- 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 Wabi, whatever fuck the tree yeah, name yeah. is, he says, all right, guys, this is Big Papa Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> it always stuck with me, dude. I don't know why. Big Papa. What will be your, like, if they look you up, you know, I'll look up, like, back shots. Like, what will be a shit that they look up in? <laughs> 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 Ah, shit, dude. I've never looked that up. I'm gonna do that when I go. What's, <laughs> what's, what's be your craziest porn search? Oh, oh, oh! Hang on, I got a couple, bro. <laughs> I have to dig deep oh, now. What short socks. Short socks. Yeah. What the fuck is short socks? You know, some 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 girls be having them short ankle socks. <laughs> shit, dude. I don't know. I just you know, when I was in high school, I had a little period where I was like, you know, I was like, man, that shit looks sexy as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was like some underlying shit for somebody. I know you actually was in love with girls with short socks. Yeah, dude. I mean, now no, again, this is not reason, you know, yeah. events, but it's not like I did it last week or anything like yeah. that. But, <laughs> yeah, dude, that's probably the weirdest shit I looked up. <laughs> or like studying that one. That one also hits. <laughs> what about you, Mario? What's so crazy? Uh, I know you, Mario. Because I, I looked up handicap porn. Like, dang, I never looked up anything. Yeah, I, I said a story multiple times, but it's like I saw this one dude pick this girl up from a wheelchair. Her legs was just dead. Oh, like she was physically oh. handicapped. Yeah, handicapped. Handicap. I thought like you know it was like the playful like oh you no 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 you no, got no. me walking no. again you <laughs> fucked me so good you know like. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, her legs was dead. Oh, he shit. was going pound town like yeah. <laughs> just yeah, legs just going all over the place, dog. <laughs> I, I, I got to like, write these down. Yeah. Wait, <laughs> and, another funny one though. It, do this, do this make me like? Do this, Do y'all question me? Because I search like like dudes fucking like like gay like gay girls. Gay girl. Like, oh, so, like lesbians. <laughs> yeah. I just want to see. How I know. Like, I see. They I, both come in with their baseball fit. They, they, <laughs> 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 I don't know how that far in, but I'm I definitely. I fell in love with one, so they both got white. Oh, yeah, 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 he used to have a crush on a lesbian. I just yeah. oh man, but um, did she did she dress like a dude? No, <laughs> no, no, no. Like they, I've, I've never they both come into the room look like dudes. <laughs> I, I, I mean, no. I don't I don't know if you ever guys seen this when you're looking up adult content online. Yeah. But like sometimes it'd be like recommended videos. I'm like, how do you know? Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, like, you know what I mean? Like, how does this have a recommended you just, category? You just hit one video and you're, Man, you're what done. the fuck? Like, bro, I, like, I think I think like I remember for a long time I was searching like grandmas with fat asses, like for a long time. Like that was just like I was I love seeing old women with fat asses. Dog. Like it was like <laughs> I, I, look, I ain't gonna lie. I, I I've scrolled past some like oh grandma porn type. Yeah. I never click on it, bro. What? No, nah, bro. I see a couple. Grandma as soon as I see a wrinkle, I'm like, this is not it, dog. This is no, not it. Maybe see old gray hair. Yeah, it'd be like a fucking twenty year old dude. I'm like, damn, that's how you got into the industry, bro. Yeah. I don't fuck out Ethel, dog. Yeah, like, fucking poor uh, Abigail got sixty fucking years in her. <laughs> oh, got some mods on that motherfucking shit, dog. She like, oh, we got damn sub. What the fuck are we talking about? Like, oh, you, did he answer? Damn it! <laughs> I don't think I oh, forgot about it. Is the it crazy porn search? Uh, yeah. if you count these crazy, I don't. I think anything from like crime scene. Yeah. Like, that, like, oh cr- wait, hang on. Or maybe like a you know like public park or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. oh, Oh, too, fuck, public I guess. park. Crime scene porn. <laughs> I don't, I don't, you know, I don't think I ever got into public anything, dog. I, yeah. I feel like I, think I did that once. People, though, people like, like, like the fucking risk. I don't, I don't even know what's appealing to that. You know what Man, I mean? No, I hilarious, it's like, dog. bro, getting put in a sex offender list is not hot, bro. No, right? yeah, no, no. I don't right. care how fucking steamy that might sound like. Yeah, <laughs> dog, I can't believe he said short socks. Like, he was in love with them short socks. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. The short ankle socks. Hey, trust me. Look that shit up when you get. Oh, <laughs> that and pajamas, bro. Yeah. I looked up pajamas before. <laughs> All right, w- w- would you be okay watching porn with your lady? Like, because I feel like it's a competition. I can't even, you know, saying watch uh, porn like like it's a fucking Sunday movie. We got popcorn. Or like- <laughs> yeah, you're just watching it like like to prepare for y'all. Well, I- I'll put this out there, uh, and I-, I don't think it's too much information. My girl used to work at Adam and Eve, okay. you know, the-, the sex shop. Yeah. So she will like occasionally um, send me pictures of parody films and shit. Yeah. One that always stands out to me, and I- I'm sure I've said this in the podcast before, is uh, Black Wives Matter. Yeah. That one sticks with me a lot. <laughs> Uh, American Horror Story. Uh, what's another one? Uh, he's quick on that one. Uh, black wise, man. Big, big black cocks, and I swear I'm making. I'm not making this up. Uh, one to twenty-four. Yeah. There's twenty-four of them bitches. Duh. And uh, what the fuck was I going with this? What you asked me? I Watch your porn with your lady. Oh right, right, right. So, so, so before she quit, she yeah. bought a uh, uh, like maybe four or five of them parody movies. Yeah. So every now, well, not like anytime recently, but we we have sat down and kind of watched yeah. it, dude. It's like what the fuck, man. Duh. <laughs> like what the fuck? You get mad at a big black porn, like motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, like you were talking about first times when you were on our podcast. Yeah. And like, yeah, I remember you you got mad at me because I said yeah, my man, first time long, I went dog. 20 minutes. That was bullshit. And, <laughs> and it's like, you know, I, I haven't gotten any complaints. It's like, <laughs> it's like, look, it's like Matt Johnson winning championship his rookie year. Like, <laughs> like motherfucker, he was a grow. <laughs> You must go through battles. <laughs> yeah, I battles. Yeah, I don't think I ever had anything like that. Now, um, you know, when you guys first started, it was four. It was, it was four and then it was, five. It was four, then five, and then we went down to two. What happened? <laughs> uh, we had a roundabout. If y'all want, if y'all want to talk about, it I again. can say. I well, mean, I, I can at least say it's like we had we had to, we had people to learn. It's like you got to separate your personal life with the business. Yeah, going back like, with you know, that, what I said earlier about like, expectations and yeah, stuff. Like yeah. that, right. So when you have cast members, you know, essentially cast members that don't even like the post you put out. Mm. Like I mean, like zero like effort, mm. and you know, and then we give them tasks, yeah. and they don't even make an attempt to try to do mm-hmm. and you're just you're you're just dead weight you know what i mean like we all got to work unfortunately you know we're now fucking making in this bread we're not fucking uh organization that we're on payroll mm-hmm. 
You know, I, and, and I don't have any bad beef with anybody, yeah. at least from my end. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. But, you yeah. know, like, people, you know, they're going to write you as their own villain, I'm sure, in their yeah. story. For sure. So it's like, but at the end of the day, you know, business is business and, you know, yeah. personal is personal. So how do you guys maintain your personal friendship and not let it, you know what I'm saying, Get fucked up through this podcast, like you know, saying that balance between um, we friends, we do this shit together, right. we not gonna let nothing fuck up, you know, saying either or. Oh shit! Well, we still hang out with one. Pretty yeah, yeah. So one of our old previous cast members, and I don't know if he just got this misconstrued that he that we banned him entirely. Like I even told him when we let him go, I'm like, you can come back as a guest, mm -hmm. but you don't, you know, I don't was a cast member. I don't yeah. I just, you know, don't want you here. And you know, we still hang out with 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 that individual, but mm -hmm. it's just a fuck. What did you ask me? I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> How do we stay connected to the other people? That yeah, well, we're right. well, no, two of them, they just disappear yeah. from, you know, at least my life. Yeah. Um, but... Now what about between you guys? You guys, your, between, you guys, between us, like, how, how to make sure that you just don't fuck well, up we, your friendship? We, we, we oh, gotta yeah. set an expectation, you know, yeah. like, mm. and, and it has to be mutual. Like, hey, you're in charge of this. Mm. I'm in charge of this. Mm. If you ever need help or it's too much or anything, just again going back to like the simplest communicating. Yeah, that's fucking strong in any. It's like imagine if if you show up at twelve and he don't tell you that you know yeah. he's not here. Yeah, it's like <laughs> well, it's like you know you gotta at least give me some fucking information. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when it's like. Straight up, like, oh, you're doing all the work. Like, nah, we're not gonna have that. Yeah. Because it's like, then why the fuck? Then I could just have it. would be like, I used to jokingly say this before we even separated from the other guys. This isn't the Brian show and the aliens. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like, this is yeah. the League of Aliens. Yeah, for sure. Like, like yeah, yeah. If, if, that was, if, if that was the case, then it'll be the fucking Brian show. You yeah, know what like, I mean? like, button and shit. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> if I'm doing everything, I'm putting, you know, the money to kick the lights out on this yeah. bitch. Because, like I said earlier, you know, it was an essentially a shack. Mm -hmm. We had to heat that bitch up and warm it up, you know, mm -hmm. during the winter you know, and cool it off. In summer yeah nobody was paying anything you no, know for sure. i was like strictly out of bread i fucking you know i can say that i went a little bit bankrupt from yeah. it, you know but it's like that's that's what i was putting where my money is so mm -hmm. it's like and if you're not even willing to put minimum effort then yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. that's what i tell him with him i'm like i'm not expecting you to do what i did mm -hmm. but let me know and be honest and upfront about yeah. stuff you need and then i'll let you know what i need for sure you know yeah. so it's like have you guys ever had that uncomfortable conversation for the podcast before before the podcast? Have, have y'all just like doing a podcast? Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying why y'all airing, but like, mm -hmm. why y'all been doing this show? Have y'all had an uncomfortable conversation as far as like something you guys didn't like? Maybe a guest, maybe a topic, maybe a conversation? I don't, I don't think so. Because, no. I mean, you guys experienced it firsthand when you showed up. We we like to kind of pregame, per se. Yeah. Like, you know, get the just make it, going. Make it comfortable in there. Kind of yeah. see where your boundaries are with yeah. jokes. Yeah. And I don't know if you noticed that, but I was definitely testing you guys when you came in. <laughs> yes. Of like, you know, where, where you cross that line. Line, for what sure. can you take as a humor and, and we, do, we do that with everybody yeah. and we and then at the end before right before we start we flat out go like hey is there anything you don't want to talk yeah, about yeah I don't give a fuck cause, like. cause <laughs> again clearly you didn't you know, <laughs> cause, 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 right, cause people would you know say they don't care yeah. but actually do care oh, no, no, so no, I try no. to kind of steer around it by before I ask directly are you gonna lie to me when yeah. I ask you? Right. Yeah. So, because it's gonna be, it's gonna fuck up the whole. The fuck's the vibe? It does. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. My thing is, like, and if it's something that you ask that maybe you want to talk about, there's ways around it to right. still keep the shit flowing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't eat the hot wings, but I don't want to be a pussy. Be like, I don't want to eat the hot wings. <laughs> oh, yeah. But again, we give you that truth. Like, yeah, you, you don't have to, have to go, do yeah. this, yeah. dude. If you like, wanted you know. to mix it around, go ahead. Yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. fuck, I'm engaged. Right, right, right. <laughs> you could have been like Mondo and just go straight to the end. So, yeah. <laughs> you could have done that. Shout out to him, man. He was, was funny. Y'all got to have him on here, though. Yeah, yeah I'm Matt Fett. Him Victorino, though. Y'all got to have him on here. I got to come with my, what's name on, too? The My robe. We both, it's going to be a robe. If you do that, I'll come in this video. Oh, I want to see that. I want to see that. Right. I'm, def I'm gonna buy a robe I'll, just to I was wear. I gonna it. say I would go buy a robe just to be in this bitch in the robe. <laughs> oh, he can't. We gonna have the, the 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 drink he had. I forgot the name of the drink. Milagro. Yeah, yeah, with the rose on, man. I'm, I'm telling you, we doing that shit for sure. I'm give me a robe. I'm lit and I'm passionate. <laughs> hey, it was cool. I had that flank in. Uh, yeah, that Rita Franklin shit was hilarious. Cause I don't let him go through with like. I, I heard it too. I'm like, I saw your uh, reaction when he said a Rita Flank. You were like, I'll let it go. <laughs> I was like, someone's gonna bring it up. Up, I was gonna bring it up, dude. Man, I was like, bro, you know she did, right? <laughs> a long time ago. What's some do's and don'ts when starting a podcast? Oh, most expensive doesn't mean better. Yes. Oh hell yeah. That's definitely a. What would be a don't? 
uh, and do's. Uh, just fucking be consistent and know what you actually want to achieve. Because mm-hmm. a lot of people do all this shit, you know, not just podcasting, but just creating content. Mm-hmm. And that's a broad ass term, bro. Content. Yeah. If you don't know what your almost end goal is, and by that I don't mean like money or fame and shit like mm-hmm. that. I mean like, what do you want to achieve when you hit record in that bitch? Yeah. Do you want to have a good conversation? Do you want to influence people to vote for somebody else? Do you want to fucking inform people about your favorite hobbies? Like, you got to know what you're doing. Mm-hmm. If you don't know what you're doing, you go like, oh, let's just fucking throw a camera and some mics on. And <laughs> yeah, and and fucking, which a lot of projects start that way. I'm not saying shit. We started like that. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. We had no mission whatsoever. <laughs> like zero. Like, just fuck it. Turn the camera on. Yeah. See what we say some funny shit but no like when you when, yeah i mean and again you know it, 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 we did it you know so but now you know you have to if you don't have a mission you're going to also get discouraged real quick because then you're going to realize exactly. that well what am i am i doing this because i feel like i'm doing it mm-hmm. like you, know, really that, uh, yeah, my, you my, don't want to do that because then you're just wasting, you're just wasting your time at that yeah. point what about you mario uh definitely have fun mm-hmm. that's the main thing yeah. about it i think yeah. you're, you don't don't come in and expecting a crew like a career out of there like oh I'm trying to be the, you know, the man the Mr. Popular Joe Rogan you know sure, doing yeah. that like man, he's gonna retire does, one day also I'm <laughs> I mean hey if it does it does and it's cool yeah. but have fun uh, again like he said the equipment like we we started off with our phones as our cameras straight, like, using zip ties as yeah. like, to hold them up together you know so yeah. and then we did a whole out. 180 we had fucking like $10,000 worth of shit in there man. <laughs> and, like, I mean like was it, I, wait, was it that much it was more than that actually but, <laughs> but that's just all I'm willing to say on camera <laughs> I, I'm surprised yeah. but, you know, <laughs> like, but you know, again, I, I fucking before I started the podcast, I'm just gonna say I had savings and shit. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So obviously, <laughs> yeah. you know, that's another bridge we're on. <laughs> but but again, don't don't do that. And I've had people reach out to me, you know, like, hey, you know, I want to start a project and blah blah blah. And it's like, go for it. Yeah. And then that that's all they, they comes from. And I'm like, Is I'm it? not gonna fucking chase you <laughs> and follow you. And then I'm not, you know, not, like, I'm not giving you the shopping list. Yeah, no, yeah no, like, come my, on. My producer actually had somebody that. I interviewed, said they was gonna start a podcast, and supposed to came, and never came. Remember those uh, two young ladies? I ain't gonna put the name out there, but yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it was it was it. <laughs> but yeah, I don't, I, I, I don't know what happened to those guys, to those girls. But uh, yeah, but yeah, you had those people that really ain't for real and serious with the shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, they they're like Facebook Marketplace asking you, hey, is that still available? Yeah, <laughs> and then just like, keep on. I really, I actually thought about this, man. Like when I started, it was so many different shows that started a long time, the same around the same time I started, and like. Go. Dude, dude, when I started, when, when when we started, there was like off the top of my head, I know like three other projects just in Southwest Detroit. Yeah, right. right, we're the only one left. Yeah, and you know, like you got you know a lot of the other one, but I produced the other one. Yeah, the yeah. other one, the other one would have died if yeah. I didn't step in, just because I believe in that project. Dude. Mm-hmm. So shout out to everyday people. If everybody wants to check that out. Yeah. he had a fucking. Uh, I don't want to butcher his name. Uh, that uh, Tui star. Uh, that that dude. Amari Payne. No, uh, it starts with a K. K- K- Kamun Hassan oh. Diesel. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he yeah, had Diesel yeah, on yeah, there, I, I dude. Did, yeah. So like he he you know he's a uh, he, he's a dude that served in prison for 17 years. He's mm-hmm. he's, he's a cool dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you know if it wasn't for again for me stepping in, it would have it would have died. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, because a lot of people like you said they think they just hit record. Yeah, and they just think start it's talking easy. Shit, like, and then until but they you, actually right. and like I said, are you prepared for when a guest? Don't show up and you have to start speaking out. Like, oh yeah, when I come it's over happened. here, yeah. it's yeah. like fuck it. I'm not about to go home without something. Like, right, I love right. my kids want me to stay home. <laughs> like, right. well, and, and that's the we thing give a buffer too on time a little bit. Some yeah. once in a while, right? That's the yeah. uh, that's the the biggest one too. It's like if if we're sacrificing our time, mm. that's where I kind of really take it seriously when people cancel on us. Mm. Like I understand, you know, life fucking happens, bro. Like one of the last persons that canceled on us was talking about like their car broke down and shit. Mm. I'll let you know if I can make it, and then never did. They never <laughs> fucking never did. So, and that was so, our so last it's like so, so, did, so, so that it really happened. But I think we still had a show regardless. Yeah. We did, yeah. So so we we try to gravitate to where we have Plan B and C. You yeah. know what I mean? And if something like and there and we have our occasional like we had a a, a band cancel on us what a week ago. Two weeks ago, yeah, we, so we didn't just we didn't have an episode. Then. Yeah, it was yeah. Friday, you know. So it's like yeah. so, we, we so, did, so we're we pretty flexible. Two, on yeah, and we did two it, shows you know? that week too. And yeah. we had already yeah. that would have been the third show that week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, fuck it, you know. Well, we'll, we'll set this one. Yeah, because yeah, like we get here by AQ. You ready? Like, we got to have to right. talk about some I've shit. Seen, I've seen a couple of those. Just, you guys just yeah. you just two. Whenever it's us, that means we got spent. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I still think about that to this day. Yeah, they pull a spin move up. Yeah, good, good spin move. Like, goddamn. Uh, we, we hear, like, well, 
twelve twenty. You ready to talk? Yeah, 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 we gotta do something. <laughs> hey, put the camera up on him. We we here go chop it up on some crazy shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, thinking on your feet is it's it's pretty crazy. That's one thing that I I don't think. Or I guess people you know starting projects have to realize is that. Yeah, we're all fun and games, and we're all like to think that we're good at speaking. But mm. when you have a camera and a microphone shoved yeah. in your face, bro, it's like a, it's whole a different, different world, like, a whole uh, different ballpark. Yeah. I know people that have been in our show before that are literally like the life of the room. Mm. You know what I mean? They're like oh, funny, dropping one liners yeah. and shit. You shove the ki- a, ki- a microphone <laughs> in yep. their face. <laughs> they're they're talking out here, you know, like all right, it's like yeah. yeah. How do you, how do you it's guys like, what happened? <laughs> how do you guys go about building your audience? Because I know with me, I was like sending my um. My link to like ten people every other hour and shit, just trying to build it like that, right? Or like tagging people on shit on like my story. I I realize if you want to get in touch with people, it's easier to do if you tag them in a story than direct message. That's just some free mm-hmm. game for people out there. Like I ain't got. And I didn't t- think about that. That actually makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, if you send a message, it's a request. Yeah, you got. So if you be, mention in the story, yeah. it's like right yeah, there. Yeah, it's gonna pop up on their shit. Oh shit! So a lot of times, I like write that down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> that one I might need to. I'm like, mm. no. So like, I used to always put like this list up. Like, hey man, I want to get this, 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 right. this, this, this person, and now I put it on the on the on the story, yeah. tag them. Some people respond. Some people open it. Some people don't. Right. But it's just easier to get a hold to those those tough people that way. In opposed to messaging. To to this to this day, I still want to get Lieutenant Brown on my fucking podcast. Oh my god, I want him. He has not know. opened that message up. I'm gonna I'm gonna do that when I go get ahead. Back <laughs> to the story. Go ahead, I get uh, Cause free. I actually met him. He's cool as shit. Like I, I at my previous job, the mm-hmm. one I almost got fired from. Yeah. Like I met him. I met him at that yeah. job. I was like, oh shit. Yeah. And he was like so stoked. I recognized him. Yeah. And then I took a picture with him. And then. Everybody else was like, "What the fuck just happened?" Because they were yeah. confused. Yeah. And I'm like, "He's Lieutenant Dan." And yeah. then I showed the video. And then who hasn't fucking seen him? Exactly. I'm like, I know. He's like this uh, urban survival training. Yeah. <laughs> He's obviously not like that in person. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? So it's like I want to get him on, man. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna definitely steal that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That yeah. So what, you, what do y'all do like to build up, build y'all shit up? Shit, to be honest, we we because we're a little unorthodox, right? We are a live podcast, but we do it on Twitch. Mm-hmm. You know, and Twitch is mainly known. First of all, a lot of people I, I fuck with don't even know what Twitch is. Mm-hmm. They just think it's some gaming shit. Yeah, right? I, I was talking about and, it. And, it's, and it's nothing wrong because that's what it's most popular known for, right? But the 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 physical outreach that I noticed that grows our podcast more is posting clips. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like that. That's where we've gotten the follower. We got I think eleven, almost twelve thousand followers on Facebook, mm-hmm. and we got three, almost three thousand, three twenty six hundred around yeah. there. And, mm-hmm. and, and and it all comes from clips. Yeah, you know our fucking and then I'll keep it real here. You know fucking YouTube video be doing like fifteen views and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like you know like, like we still do it, but but, but like but uh, again, but also that's another whole another game in itself. Like mm-hmm. up to literally i think a few days ago i texted him i'm like you know what there gotta be a reason why these shit ain't doing good on right. youtube mm-hmm. and i literally sat down for like two three hours coming up with a design for just a thumbnail yeah no he, so that's so, what they so, yeah, that's shit important. so that shit is extremely yeah. thumbnail important, i think dude. like the um, thumbnail and, the title and, and title yeah that would in itself get your views bro. yeah yeah it's so, hard man so, and then people again go think to where like they just think record and upload it does the trick no nah, yeah it's a, it's a lot of science it is shit. man i'll be up at late nights like especially as a recent, just Dude, looking, I want to bet at like 3 a.m. Like, so doing just, editing and shit yeah, for that man. motherfucking clip to get 200 views today. I was like, yeah, <laughs> like, I could have been in bed, motherfucker. Man. But again, that's that's a, that's the game that we all sign yeah. up for, you know. What like about, one day you're gonna do good, another day yeah, not. For sure. What about you, Mario? It's, it's more the same. Like I have, I have my late nights. I'll be up at one, two in the in the morning. After, oh, oh, like editing an episode, but at the same time, oh, I'm gonna do a clip. Yeah. Just like, try to find something. Like I do, like look, with clips. You know, Brian's like, I'm quick on my phone. I got it all done. Like I'll use. On my phone. Yeah. I'm, I'm on my computer doing them. Like yeah. it's more the more like I guess technical stuff that you couldn't really find on, uh, on an app. But we we just try to keep plugging away on inst- like Instagram. TikTok and all those apps, but at the same time, Instagram, TikTok don't like to play ball with us that much. Yeah. Oh, we're shadow banned, bro. Like, oh, what? Dead ass on TikTok, TikTok and Instagram. And I know people like to throw that around. Yeah. But like we're really but, like, but no, like we know these clips can like, go. We yeah. are literally shadow banned. Yeah, like, I, I, I think I was for a minute myself. Yeah, like and 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 it's been getting a little bit better now that we are collaborating with a bunch yeah. of different people. So I don't know what the reason was per se that we're being shadow banned. Mm. 
but it, it's fucking. I hate when you crazy, that was somebody was on the show and they don't they don't accept that shit. Like motherfucker, you was on my show. No, I mean, I, I, I again, go back to like sometimes you care about it. I don't know how I, often I you guys that. do. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how often you guys do like collaborations, yeah. like posts, and, and we tell people. I think I told you guys too before you left. Like you guys feel free to accept it or not. I accept everyone. I'm not gonna take offense to it. Oh, no, you know I what accept I mean? everyone. Though. And I tell that to everybody because I know certain people. Like we just had on, for example, Diego Cruz, mm-hmm. and he's a, a, a really you know he's directed quote out black and I can't even fucking name the whole you know the baby fucking uh kevin gates mm-hmm. yeah. and it's like i know his instagram got to look exactly. kind of yeah. fucking top notch you know yeah, yeah, yeah. so and again i send it the same fashion as everybody else and it's like you know you go yeah. you, you do you he has nothing to get from us mm-hmm. and, and that goes back to like sure. you got to know who you're kind of playing ball yeah. with now if you motherfucker got like 100 followers and shit <laughs> and, and you know you're not accepting my shit i'm like dude i'm trying to help you out yeah. you know what i mean like <laughs> no for sure like, but but he and, and that's the thing it's like just you gotta be active man are there podcast shows that y'all study to get better I always look. I think. I think just because of who he is and where his background was, I look at not necessarily. It's, you may consider it a podcast, but it's like you know the the, the hot one show. You know, first yeah. we feast. Like I love. He's, Sean a, he's a great interviewer mm-hmm. because well, never seen him. because he his background is journalism. He went to Northwestern and got That's a degree there. Nice. So I'm like, oh, I'm kind of like you in a way. I want to know how you find questions Dude, and how we should, you. We should we, start like, a show like the make tacos instead. <laughs> make tacos, like different flavor tacos. No, for sure. That'd be yeah. that shit. Yeah. Invite me. I love tacos. Y'all be, hey, hey, y'all be the first pilot yeah, yeah. show. See yeah, yeah. <laughs> Episode zero. It got mystery yeah. sauces on it though. It'd be, it'd be the I'm, before, I'm there. <laughs> All right. Hey, ice cream, dog. My, hold on. When we when we did those hot wings, I went to go pee and I washed my hands and my dick was on fire though from the, from the sauce. I'm like ah. <laughs> I'm like, I didn't wash my hands. I didn't, even, I didn't even think about that, dude. Uh, oh, shit. Was, everything I was touching was just burning. Though. My eye. That shit. I'm like, was, I wash my hands. You're like, that shit was rough, bro. Yeah, that shit was rough, dog. But, but who you just studied? What was I was saying, I forgot what Mario I was. Mario was talking about who you were studying. Oh, yeah, Sean Evans. Oh, yeah. Sean, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah yep, yep. He's definitely somebody I look to. What about you, uh, Brian? You got. Damn. Well, I mean, shit. What, I'm shit. I mean, I wanted to start a podcast after I discovered fucking Rogan back in 15. Mm-hmm. You know, and back in 15, it was a whole other market than what it is today. No, for sure. And even then, that's when I still, you know, I was friends with Mario already. I was like, I was always telling the boys, I was like, we got to start one, bro. Like, mm-hmm. I feel like we, I got a feeling like we got to start. That was nerd. We would have been fucking nine years in this bitch. Man. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, um, like uh, yeah, I, I can't give enough credit to to Joe. You know whether you know he gets a lot of fucking you know bashing and shit. And I like to watch other you know good ones. Uh, another one that's really good. I don't know if y'all are interested in like relationship advice and shit like that. Mm. But to be better podcast. To be better. It's a, it's a husband and a wife. Mm. I fuck with that one hard, bro. Okay. Uh, that one, brilliant idiots. Oh yeah, the, I love that. Fucking that. That and the flagrant. I got. Podcast. I got to start watching Fragrant more because everybody's saying like it's getting better and better. It, it is getting. better. They just had fucking the, that little short dude from uh, fucking Game of Thrones. Oh, Peter Dinklage? Yeah. yeah. They got like 4 million views in one day, though. Man. They had, I don't know, like, best And, like, Andrew and Schultz is actually a great interviewer. He, he's like, pretty good to, yeah. to a degree. He's a little narcissist, but yeah, I mean, is, who isn't yeah, if you're yeah. that fucking famous guy? No, you sure. know what I mean? Yeah, so, I fuck with Andrew Schultz. Yeah, him and, like, oh, fucking Theo Vaughn. Y'all gotta no, fucking great. watch this fucking yeah. podcast, bro. Yeah. See, yeah, I see. Funny, man. Uh, Everybody's seen the clips. I you gotta start spending my podcast vision, like, because I'll be just watching the same shit. I gotta go ahead and explore other shit. Oh, yeah. too. I mean, occasionally I would like discover one that like has like fucking a thousand listeners, yeah. you know. Yeah. And I'll listen to one or two episodes and then you know forget about it and yeah, shit. For sure. But I mean, it, it's always good to see what people are consuming, you know. Yeah. Oh, like, Kill Tony's another good one too. Have y'all been watching the whole Pop Balloon Challenge shit? That no, Pop Balloon, the whole dating shit when they just like uh, a man come in and be like eight women and they got these balloons and if they don't like the motherfucker off first sight they popping the balloons. Like oh, that shit is hilarious. If you if shit, you go down that rabbit shit hole, be an ego check for yeah, sure. <laughs> you, go, you go down a rabbit hole like you got some people come out there and all eight contestants popping their balloons. Damn. So I've been telling I him. I hate myself. <laughs> I've been telling him what we need to do. If we need to do it before it get too cold. Is go down downtown to Riverwalk and just one of those nights that everybody out there and just have all these balloons about listen you want to play this game right. and just do it though I think it'd be I, I don't know if y'all are down but since we started this podcast I wanted to do a fucking uh, like a podcast show in the middle of a fucking bl- uh, blizzard <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. What? Yeah, wouldn't that be that be some fucking I, hella content? You fucking click that yeah, shit. I do that. Hey shit. guys, welcome to the legal end. And it's like fucking literally. Like, well, luckily for you, you literally get covered in snow. And well, we have we got the, the perfect backyard for it now, dude. Man, you think I didn't? I, I've been banking.
taking that for oof. Not, hey, what's yeah, the tables yeah. out there? Yeah, take it. That'd be some fun shit. Call us fuck. You yeah. got you got to have liquor too. And you in that bitch in like shorts. You know what I mean? Like walk them. I don't know if I'm gonna wear shorts when I'm doing that. I'm gonna be more. I'm gonna try to be a woman as I can. Or or the snowsuit from our first job. Oh yeah. Oh shout out to fucking Enterprise Rent a Car. Hell yeah, I still have that on me. Oh yeah, you know where that missions I don't fuck the dead job boy. Don't buy don't buy from Rent a Car, Clarkson. That's all I'm saying. Enterprise, yeah. Don't buy rental car. Don't buy a rental car. Don't do it. Don't never buy a rental car. God damn. I had, I, used to, I used to get rental cars for my birthday and still didn't go. Oh no, he bu- can rent them. Oh, yeah. Just don't buy them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now oh, yeah, my brother thought about buying one too. I'm glad he didn't. Thirty seventh yeah, person to drive that Challenger. It's probably all messed up. Man, <laughs> they've been, been dogs and shit. Damn. Well, well, that was, you got, hey, you dog got, you and dog. Dog and dog. <laughs> <laughs> making a band. Y'all know we talked about Diddy. We said no Diddy a lot of times today. <laughs> making a band. You know how I make a band was. You know, saying five people in the in the group made an album. Give me y'all making a band podcast show. So you, Mario, and three other hosts that you feel gonna make a great ass oh god co- collab show. <laughs> Your favorite podcasters. I mean, you've mentioned it. Oh, like it could be like anybody. Yeah, just people yep. that I know. but y'all two and three other people. Ooh, the best the, of the best. With Theo count, I would Theo? definitely put Theo Bond in there, dog. I okay. like Theo. Theo Bond will definitely get a seat. Okay. Uh Probably Neil deGrasse Tyson get another seat because like, yeah, oh, Star Talk. That's another podcast I fucking love. Yeah. Uh, so that'd be two third of them. Fuck, I gotta name Joe Rogan. He gotta be yeah, in that bitch. Probably. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That definitely. That's definitely a, a good one, dog. What about you? Yeah, I mean, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah pretty much. Bucket, Theo, yeah. yeah, Theo, for sure. Theo, oh, man. What's, right. what's the goal with the show, man? At the end of the day, what, what do you want to see the show? What do you feel success is? You know what I'm saying? In the future of this show, get the outreach out more. That's a tough one. Uh, hopefully, more people in Detroit pay attention to the show yeah. compared to other places in the country. That's uh, you know, it's funny. Detroit's not our top. I think we said this when you guys were on. Detroit's like number eleven in our list mm-hmm. of like people to listen and watch. <laughs> I'm like, what yeah. the fuck y'all? Our doing? top is like, <laughs> top is like what? Oregon, it's Texas. The middle, yeah. Uh, there's like then there's countries like Dubai, Belgium. Mm-hmm. Like, Norway. Where, where's Detroit? What yeah. happened here? Where the fuck's Detroit? We gotta get you. We gotta mean, get Detroit. But, Come on, man. Show love. <laughs> Uh, I, I mean, it would be nice if down the road, you know, we can pay, you know, some of our bills type yeah. of shit. You yeah, know, that would be I mean, because, you know, it does cost Mario money to yeah. run that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would love for just to break even at one point and, you know, get a get a good outreach. You mm-hmm. know, get a get our, at least our mentality of, of uh, spreading positivity and just collaboration in general. I think, like, that doesn't get enough, especially here in Detroit. It's, like, where people are always thinking that you want something from them and shit. Mm-hmm. And it's like, no, it's, it's it's a mutual transaction. Like sure. I want you to be comfortable with me, and I'll support you. You support me, mm-hmm. and you know. And it's about helping each other, not fucking each other. Like For sure. we talked about earlier on board. If it, if y'all gonna have one guest, one guest only that you feel gonna motherfucking blow your, the show up, who is that one guest gonna be? Any of the people we just mentioned, I think, right? <laughs> no, I mean, fuck it. I mean, damn, that's a good question. Uh, I mean, I want. I don't know. I, know like, it might get some heat, but I I, I wouldn't mind having Trump on. I, I was, I was, I was about, to, I was about to mention Obama, honestly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah that Obama. Or something. Fucking, I mean, if I have Joe Rogan on, I, mean, yeah, yeah, my, my, I don't think I think that's the finish <laughs> line. You know what I mean? Like, my, my 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 wish. What's your guess? Mike Tyson. Sure. I, I, I yeah. Have Mike Tyson. Ooh, yeah. That's a good one. That, Mike that's, that's, that's. And I hope we get high. I'm like, hey, do shrooms, do whatever you want. Like, yeah. You can have a good yeah. conversation. I make sure. Dude, I, I don't smoke weed, but yeah, I, I I've been, I've been learning yeah. how to smoke with my girl. Yeah. Because you know, again, I literally don't smoke. Just in the off chance that I do get like a Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg or something. Yeah. Yeah. You think I'm not about to smoke, bro? <laughs> yeah. What the yeah. fuck? No, like, for sure. Yeah. Mike Tyson is like. My go-to person, I would love. Oh yeah, that. his podcast is pretty good. Uh, hot he stopped though. Did he? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, he oh, did, yeah. Did, yeah, yeah. He stopped, man. That was one of my shits. I love because he he have a guest on there. He don't know shit about him. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he had just one rapper. He didn't know shit about him. Like, like, who, who, who are you? Like, what do you do? <laughs> what What do you do? <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. I got this at the at the end. It's called "Too Early, Too Late, or Right on Time." <laughs> Having oh, sex. Shit. Oh shit. No, what, what do you mean? Like, no, what, no, no, like with each other, or what are we doing here? I know, like, what are, you, what are, what are we implying? <laughs> hey, what is this fucking the fuck talk time, shit? The for? first time y'all had sex was it too early, too late, or right on time. Oh, like the oh, time, uh, um, the timeline wise. Yeah, I think I personally think right on time because I if if I would have been any younger, I probably would have fucking gotten a bitch pregnant. Yeah. I would have been like, I'm not pulling out. Yeah. <laughs> so like, I mean, I had, and I mean, I'm not embarrassed to say it. I fucking, I, I first time I had sex, I was 21. Mm. <laughs> same. Yeah, I was a little late, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck it. yeah. That was yeah. late. I think it was right on time. No, yeah. I think it was on time for me because I again same age. It was like, yeah. I mean, anything earlier, like, I feel hey. like I would have fucked that up. Yeah. yeah. Did you have a lot prior to that? Lots of your friends like yeah, I had sex already. 
Oh, who hasn't, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I was telling motherfuckers I had sex in middle school, bro. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like of course that shit was a lie. Uh, it did not me. Nobody really asked about me. <laughs> <laughs> so like, yeah, well, he, didn't, he didn't go to the trip public school. So. Yeah, man. <laughs> All right. Uh, figuring out life. Too early, too late, or right on time. Late. I think it's... <laughs> I mean, I think late. I think I'm in the border of right on time to too late. Okay, okay. Moving out of your parents' house. I think right on time. On time. Yeah. Okay. For Michael. Because Curley. my parents never were going to kick me yeah. out unless I did something stupid. I, so. I could have been in that bitch to this day till I'm fucking Pretty boy. much, yeah. yeah. I, my, my room's still available. <laughs> You're yeah, literally though. Come back. Hey, didn't your brother move in recently? You, my brother went back. Yeah, yeah. your brother went back. <laughs> and shit, yeah, because, yeah, that relationship. Fuck, thank God. fuck that ex, too. <laughs> yeah. First relationship, too early, too late, right on time. Yeah, right on time. On time, because I never cared to be in a relationship, to be honest with you. Yeah. I was like, I, let me just, I want to make my life where I want it to be. He didn't want, want that I'll fucking smoke, bro. Right, leaving a messed up relationship. Too early, too late, right on time. I've never had a messed up relationship, dude. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I mean, I don't, I don't know if it's a bad or a good thing, but I don't think uh, I can't say. I'd say maybe too late around time. <laughs> for him, I can say, I can answer for him. Too late. Too late. Three months was too long. Yeah. First job. Too late, too early, right on time. On time. Too early, dog. On time. I, pull, I, I work one day and I'm like, fuck, quit. Man, <laughs> starting a podcast. Too late. I, I can agree with Myra. Too, too late. late. On that one. We had that idea for a Because by the time, time we started one, everybody was thinking, like, oh, we're just copying our shit. Blah, blah, blah. Going back to like that yeah. Southwest shit. Yep. And it's like, well, where, what do you do now? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Man, finding out Santa Claus wasn't real. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, probably on time. Well, funny enough, for me, Santa Claus wasn't a thing till I came to America. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I came to America in 04, 03, I discovered that same year that there was a Santa Claus, yeah. right? So I was like eight, eight years yeah, old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in Mexico, we have the three wise men. I don't know if you guys ever oh, heard about that. Kings, yeah. yeah three, um, so on January 16th, mm. that's when you get gifts and shit. Okay. And I came later to find out. I think that's just because everybody's selling everything. Yeah, yep. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a whole other conversation. <laughs> Last uh, thing. But, oh, my bad. Go ahead. But, uh, yeah, I think I think it was a little too late. Well, no. Yeah, yeah too late because it's like I was already fucking eight, nine years old. Yeah. And it's like, well, well yeah. Jane Riedel. <laughs> All right. I got to think of what's worse. Y'all answer. What's worse? Getting caught by your parents beating your meat or <laughs> catching your parents having sex? <laughs> huh. That's a good one. <laughs> thankfully, thankfully, nothing's, neither of that has happened. Neither, neither of those have happened to me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Fuck. Ooh. I, well, my mom boyfriend caught me uh, going crazy on myself. <laughs> Damn, my boyfriend. Yeah, I was in the bathroom going crazy. He just closed in the door. In the bathroom, bro. Yeah, I was, he I was, just walked in that bitch like yeah. he owned the house? Mm. <laughs> Yeah. Was it his house? Though? He was living there. Oh, with us. He oh. wasn't in his house though. Oh. But he walked the in. The fuck? I would have been like, bitch. I, I, heard, I heard it being like our opinion, like hard dick. Just <laughs> it looks like it's shooting into the boy. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> hell. I'm trying to think what would be worse if it was you doing it to yourself. It's like, well, you did just time the, it right to where no one's in the house. I think I think there, so I would I take myself because then that's my fault. Yeah. yeah. But I got caught. Okay. Yeah, yeah probably. Yeah. The what? other one catching my parents. It's like I uh, probably well, that's hear something. That's on them. Oh, what's worse? Shit, now a bowling ball. Or piss now a ping pong. <laughs> oh, piss. Oh, I'd say piss. I've never heard this one. Well, here's the, the thing. Well, here's the thing. I, I'm trying to prevent. My, well, here's the thing. As, as long as I keep drinking this, I don't have to have that second option. <laughs> so I'm gonna stick with. I'm gonna say that. I think, I, I think I'd rather shit the bowling ball. Yeah, I'd rather do that because I've heard. I mean, nothing's ever been back there, but yeah. I hear that the asshole can expand to a very good. Uh, yes, it can. With, I'm sure it can spam more yeah. like dick. Yeah, yeah. So. If you don't want those kidney stones, I'd say no, I'll, drink I'll, this. Already not drink. some, bro. I didn't yeah, you're start probably screwed. Until like a year you're ago, probably so. screwed. I was an athlete. I drank a lot of that. Something. Yeah. Yeah, no. <laughs> What's worse, um, coming real quick or not getting up at all? Not getting up at all. I think. Okay. Yeah. 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 It's like I'm, it ain't my fault. I'm efficient, you know. <laughs> <laughs> all right. What's worse, titties with no nipples or nipples with no titties? I say nipples with no titties. Wait, 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 what? I say nipples with no nipples. titties. Your nipple. Titties with no nipples? Yeah, big tits, but it has no nipple. Oh, I've seen that before. Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, I think worse uh, is just nipples, no tits. Nipples, no tits. <laughs> yeah, that, that's worse. <laughs> yeah. All right, what's worse, being a tall dude with short arms or being a short dude with long legs? I think tall. Uh, you want to be a T-Rex or I, no? I that's think you don't want to be a short dude with long legs. <laughs> so I think that's worse. <laughs> I go the opposite way. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm looking at the proportions like, 
Like if you're tall, you, you better be have long like arms. Fucking hey then, Arnold, dude. Yeah. The fuck? My proxy, you better be a basketball player. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man, <laughs> what's worse, dying from getting stabbed or dying from getting shot? Stab. Like, that's down, longer. Like, <laughs> like die from it? Yeah, it's getting stabbed. You take longer to die. I'd rather just get it over. With. <laughs> to be honest. But what if you're like they shoot you in a place where you're like bleeding out? Well then, I don't think it's equal. Then I don't know. Then in that case, it's equal. I, I will <laughs> take the one out of the two that kills me instantly. Yeah, man. What's worse, somebody talking through a movie or somebody telling you an ending? I don't mind people talking through a movie. Yeah, I've, uh, I've done that. Uh, talking the end and all would be a bit fucking pissed. Yeah, yeah. yeah for sure. By the way, can you please stop just send, uh, sending uh, clips oh, yeah. of uh, Deadpool? Uh, <laughs> in the, in the hey, man. I'm not trying to see that. I, I have a... I, have Wait, a, I, have, I, have I a, haven't seen it. I have this. a strong critique of, like, if you really want to watch a movie... You'll watch it first week? You'll watch it within the first two weeks. Yeah, yeah. If it's three months in and it's still in theaters, <laughs> bitch, you. I'm spoiling the <laughs> fuck out of that movie, bro. <laughs> yeah, plenty of... T- like, when I say, like, an ending to a movie, like, it came out a year or two years yeah. ago, bitch, you can see it by now. You didn't care about it. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. What's worse, losing your ex, or losing your girl to your homeboy, or losing your girl to your ex? Oh, that's an interesting one. I like how he did so that. Like my, we'll see. Like, so if you lost your girl right now to Mario, or you lost it to your ex girlfriend, <laughs> I'd be like, good luck, motherfucker. <laughs> Which one be worse? Uh, oh, I think the ex girlfriend probably be probably worse. That would be a curveball for sure. <laughs> Because it'll be like, what the fuck, dude? Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of how much hatred they have for the, you know, yeah. for my exes. All right, I got three, three more. You said that, that's I'd say the same, yeah. Three more. Find out your parents aren't your real parents or find out your siblings are adopted. Shit, I think I, I think wouldn't the really, parents would be worse. I don't yeah. think I wouldn't really care about it either, bro. <laughs> I think it'd be worse if the parents were, uh, yeah. Because I mean, they're the ones they already you. had the connection built yeah. with both of them. Yeah. You can tell me they're adopted and I wouldn't really care. What's worse, catching your mate? Cheating through action or reading on text? Probably action. Yeah. Because then I'm physically seeing it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> if I can imagine it, I'll be like, oh, at least he came quick or something. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I said it's, it's disrespectful positions. If you are hitting my girl from the back, that's disrespectful. Well, that's what I mean. That's if, what I like yeah, in person. Yeah, yeah. Missionary, y'all love each other. Right. <laughs> y'all it's face disrespectful. It. You don't even look at it. I say if it's like mm. if y'all land <laughs> if y'all land down it's like side to side, she look at the door and see if I'm gonna come in. So it's like you right. concerned. <laughs> like what? Oh, you thought about this? Huh? Yeah. yeah. But, <laughs> Cause like, all right. There's definitions. There's definitions. Yeah. There's levels of disrespect. Yeah. Is that what the disrespect on the cheat? All right. Last one. <laughs> What's worse, failing at something or not starting? Wait, what did you say? What's worse, failing at something or oh, not failing starting? failing at something. Failing or starting. Or not starting. Uh, I hate not, failing. Not starting <laughs> every day. Yeah, I do yeah. hate failing, but you don't learn from it. Yeah. I mean, you do learn from failing, so. Yeah, for sure. I'd definitely say starting here yeah, not starting. I, I, yeah. I think not starting creates a lot more regret than failing. Yeah. yeah. Man, well, this episode was pretty long. I didn't think it was going to be. <laughs> we can <laughs> make this bitch another up, three man. hours, You're, though. Hey, <laughs> welcome to the club. You're doing <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, we, we, We're pretty good at that, though. Yeah, hey, sure. let's do five hours. <laughs> I, had, I had to cut my answers a little short, but it'd be okay. <laughs> no, it's all good, man. But no, tell people where you can follow y'all at, where you can watch the episodes, all that good stuff. Our link tree is in our Instagram. That's where all in the southwest. Oh, the southwest. Oh, so for at least for the legal aliens, <laughs> for the I was like my old house. <laughs> wait, wait. What are you in? So like for, on Instagram, you, that's the main platform we're active. If you want to either reach us or support us, it's at the legal aliens podcast all together. None of that fancy shit. And there's a link tree. Um, link in the description mm-hmm. uh we also have an event that, that i mentioned earlier southwest fest is going to be taking place in a couple weeks in southwest detroit at the senate here in michigan avenue okay. uh it's a free event so you can just literally mm-hmm. pull up to that bitch they got like, vendors music yeah. go from 12 to 10 from 12 to 10 mm-hmm. And it's free. Did yeah, I say it was free. Hit, find Brian doing some. Uh, audio I'm gonna be doing audio in one of the one stages. stages. I'll be so out there that shooting up. some photography. You know, come yeah. say hi to us. Yeah. For sure. Hell yeah. Anything I want to leave people with as far as like motivational words, anything encouraging. You know, what I'm saying all that good stuff. I'm gonna. I think I know what I gotta say. Do it. Go for it. <laughs> It's not about being the best in the game. You did. Oh, my it's God. It's about outlasting your competition. <laughs> I hate you. 
Hell yeah, Shout yeah, out yeah. to the, the to the five second feature you had on that song. Yeah, I'm, I'm in a rap track. That's that's my that's my opening line. That's my shit. Okay. That's my shit. <laughs> what my juice I, I, I didn't get the Grammy, but fuck yeah. it, dog. I got like a thousand views or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's because of me, though. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, no, I was dope. Hello, uh, love you, Victorino. Be okay with uh, criticism, critiques. Uh, don't be afraid to fail. Don't be afraid to change things up because you're afraid. Yeah, don't conform yourself. To this yeah, shit. don't conform. Hell yeah. Be you. For sure. For sure. Hell yeah. Stay hard. Yes. Uh, yeah, for sure. Don't don't go down. <laughs> and like I said, man, hey, the best podcast in the city. You know what the fuck going on, man? I'm the one. Who, I'm going to show love. I'm not going to be like you other motherfuckers. Thank who you, say, Thank you for not giving me the KL3. Who, who, yeah, who say, like, yeah. <laughs> Just drop yeah. his name. Yeah. Oh, yeah, by the way. Yeah, kill. Yeah, he shoot. He, hey, you'll be a first one, motherfucker. Like, man, fuck you. <laughs> I have a love hate relationship with Kiddo. Like, he, I like what he does, but. Come on, bro. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, don't leave my shit on red. Yeah. Oh, he, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Know, he ain't gonna watch the shit anyway. Yeah, no, 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 no fuck that it. Yeah. <laughs> Same as that other asshole earlier. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that person. Oh, you know. Hey, right. yeah, I, yeah, I don't want to talk about it now. The music was ass. <laughs> I, I listened to that shit. Like, what the fuck is this bullshit? <laughs> <laughs> I already listened to Soldier Boy. Oh, shit. Like, yeah, before he became famous. Yeah, I don't need to be seeing you going up to random grandmas being like, "Hey, is my music good?" Yeah, they were looking weird. Like, what the fuck is you? Yeah. <laughs> bur- <laughs> I don't need to see that. That's oh, just ass, dog. And I got, yeah, he's and going for comedy. He's doing a good job. I'm a bad basketball. Co- I'm a bad basketball coaching you too. But no, uh, go ahead. Uh, <laughs> Hey man, you can't diss my boys, man. I, I'm gonna come and diss you too. Yeah. You lucky. You lucky. I say a name. I, I say names. But uh, Drop that shit. Yeah, man. But best podcast in the city, man. You already know what it is. Chavez everybody podcast. That's right. Episode two hundred five. Mario, Brian, Legal Alias. What up, Vince? All right. <laughs> 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 <laughs>